Hey, uh, we got to get Martini Steven here, mm -hmm. too, because we got uh, a couple comedians in the studio, So, and you guys have done a lot of radio shows, so we definitely want you guys involved in this next uh, little piece of tape we found. Hmm. Steve knows the back history of this. One of the dudes from uh, Mad TV, I think you know him, um, was on a radio show down in Miami, and he wasn't that funny. Yeah, and I give the the radio show a lot of credit. They called him out after he left the after he left the studio, and said how much he sucked. And this guy heard the whole thing and came running back in the studio and started a fight with the guys. Oh, he's doing some laps around the studio. Whoa! Yes, Steve, what are you doing? Steve, trying to trying to Steve. Steve, Steve, you can't find a parking spot because now we got Bob in here. Bob, so. move over. There you go. Bob's moving over. All right. All right. Yeah. Wow. Finally. Thank God. It's pretty crowded in here. That's his hybrid car. Yeah, what's wrong with you, Bob? You really it's a hybrid car? Look yes, at it. One. I've had one for about a year now. Why? It's right in front of you, Why? Bob. That's the Why not? Everyone said. You make enough money to pay for gas like yeah, a human right. being? Yeah. Why no. you, you what do you what do you put in it? What else do you put in it? Electricity? It runs, it runs on, on honey, water, and bees. <laughs> it's our all you, know. It's a hybrid, <laughs> part cock, part mouth. <laughs> you can have Thank a hooker you, crap in it. <laughs> I love my car. What what does it run on, honestly? It electricity? On, yeah, it runs on half it's the combustion engine uh, fuels the uh, the battery. So you don't really have to plug it in or anything, it just constantly. If goes. he if he goes to like accelerate on an on ramp, yeah. it, it's the gas. <laughs> it's like it's the gas motor. Right. Yes. But then once he's up to highway speed, yeah. the oh. gas motor shuts off yeah. and it turns into the battery powered right. electric it's just coats. electric so you get you know you know roughly 60 miles an hour so you have so an hour, so a you, you have gas in it just to, you don't yeah, have you have a you have it's a, like a lawn mower yeah you got you know, a 10 gallon gas stop. tank that that and ultimately you get uh, 400 miles to the tank jesus and, and his, you can brakes, only go 60 miles an hour his no 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 brakes uh, 60, charge 60 miles his per battery. gallon i'm sorry i, I misspoke how fucked up is that? His brakes charge yeah. the battery. You don't look like the type of guy that would give a shit about the yeah, universe. Well, <laughs> I, I generally <laughs> wouldn't until I realized the gas was going to hit three. It's the bucks universe of his wallet. So, so you don't have enough. The money was killing you. Yeah, it was really just filling up an SUV. I had a huge uh, GMC Envoy. What? Oh, oh for Christ. What do you have now? What's it now? <laughs> Where is it? What enough. <laughs> what is it now? What is it called? What uh, the Your car I have yeah, now? Yeah. The Toyota Prius. Yeah, they, Prius. Have, Prius. they have the faggiest yeah. names for those Prius. Prius. So. A Prius. Prius. It's the Toyota I'm Prius. A Prius. I'm driving a Toyota Prius. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like penis. <laughs> yeah, almost. But that was cool. They would definitely sell more <laughs> if they had a manly name for the damn thing. Look, they're coming out with uh, the, the Highlander. <laughs> Jimmy. Don't be shy. Just talk. <laughs> the Highlander. Jesus. All right. Fine. Get it over with. There's nothing that. There's I nothing going on down there. There's penis. Right? No, there's there's nothing. Shirt. Prius. There's no bulge there. I know. No, there really isn't. That's what you should call your penis the Prius. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it, but it's there. Why did I walk in here? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you didn't. <laughs> you drove it. <laughs> <and> your <laughs> Prius. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's up with this Miami uh, classic rock station? Uh, Aries Spears, who's on uh, Mad TV, was on the, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is it, Ron and Paul show on uh, Big 106, and I guess he they didn't really like his performance. He didn't do any impressions, and he wasn't really funny, so after he walked out of the uh, station, they started bashing him on air, and he heard it in the car and came running back in and picked a fight with them on air. Aries Spears, um, I haven't seen him in many, many years. He actually, I remember when I was doing open mics at a place called Arbajans in um uh, what was it? New Jersey. It was right around where I lived, East Brunswick. Some, you know, hotel that had a bar. And Aries' yeah. mother would bring him in because um, he was young. He was like, he's from North Brunswick. I think he was like 16 or 15, so he couldn't go in by himself legally. So his mom would bring him in and he would do uh, wow. open mics. How'd he stuff. do it like 16? He was funny. He did yeah. impressions. I mean, back then, I mean, you know, again, I was new and he was new. We started, I think I'm a little bit before him, but not much. Hmm. And uh, I haven't seen him. Last time I saw him was when I bombed in East Orange after the Rodney King beating. I did a black crowd after the Rodney King beating, and it was, whoa. It wasn't like, I was just awful, and I wasn't ready to do that kind of room. And then Bob Levy goes on and starts destroying until he sees a black cop, and he goes, why don't you take a nice stick and hit yourself with it? And, he <laughs> lost, and then he lost the crowd. <laughs> oh, that drunk. Bob has balls. <laughs> what an ass. Oh, he has balls. That lost the crowd? Yeah, but Aries went on, and Bill Bellamy was hosting. That's the last time I saw Aries Spears. That's whatever, that's mm. 10 years ago. And I guess he went on this show and didn't perform does he do well on mad tv i don't know yeah he does i've seen matt he's, yeah. he's the black dude right yes yeah he's uh he's pretty funny man he's does got a pretty he funny shack he's like so yeah shack he yeah. does mc hammer and mm -hmm. does that whitney houston and bobby brown thing he's, he's kind of funny yeah. I, saw, I met him one time with at the uh carolines he was it's kind of weird though it's like he's kind of cool 
You know what I mean? You meet a guy like that. You, hey, what's up? You know, he's like, like he almost act, he was like a rapper. Yeah, what's he up, doesn't man? want to be wacky like a comic. Yeah. He wants to have the cool rock star attitude. Now, I want to know if these guys in Florida, because Natterman, Dan Natterman had a problem where he went on a, a station like this, bombed, didn't do well, and then they trashed him when he left, and so Natterman called in. And I've heard the tape online. It's really funny because they smashed him. But again, you, you know how it is. You're in a no-win situation when you're calling from the car. I'm like, Dan, yeah. why did you call? He's like, I was angry. <laughs> <laughs> he is a problem. Oh, he's a, Dan's a fucking problem. And he actually threatened. He said something about he wanted the building to blow up. Or he said something really terrorist-oriented. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Maybe somebody, one of the interns could find that online. When are we going to get Dan in here? Uh, I, dude, I'd love, I wanted to have him in. I got his... Uh, Let's try for, I don't know, tomorrow. I but, love uh, that guy. Because I leave Wednesday. Yeah. So maybe we'll psychotic. Tomorrow. He is try psychotic. Try to get him in tomorrow because he is psychotic. That's yeah. the best tasting pickle I've ever had. Yeah, Dan is a sociopath. <laughs> he is a weird dude. And uh, he creeps girls out. Oh, he's the greatest. Yeah. So, uh, who touched you? You know, just Dan's <laughs> a fucking classic. When we, were in, when we were in the last comic standing, I'm standing next to him as they're picking up people and they're not picking him. And he just kept going, Bobby. It's going to be a fucking bloodbath, I swear to God. <laughs> My name isn't called very soon. People are going to die. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, so these guys started to move on with their show after this bad interview with him. Yeah. Dan Cook had a problem down there, too. He walked out on one of those. I, I don't know if it's this, but he... Well, you guys do a lot of radio. It's, it's not down easy. Down in Miami. It's not easy to walk into a lot of these shows and just be funny because a bunch of these guys are just the tools, right? Yeah, these guys just walked in. He goes... Uh, he ignored him when he walked in. I don't know anything about this show, but I've heard the stories over the years from you guys, and it's like, you know, you're walking into an environment where they're like, hey, Bob, what's going on? And then you you have to be funny in that environment. It's yeah, you gotta, have to do your it's act. It's got to be tough. Which show is That's the exact voice, and they laugh when they... They laugh too much. <laughs> oh. Like, yeah, I didn't even say anything, oh, you sorry. moron. Sorry right. about that. I thought I was supposed to laugh there. That was good. That's exactly the way no, I know. No, I know. Trust <laughs> me, I've heard enough of this. I've never really had that, man. The only time I thought I was going to have it was in Sacramento. There was a guy where I was kind of a, like a dick to comics, um, but he turned out to be okay. But I was so ready to attack him. Yeah? Yeah, on commercial, I would have just cursed and not even cared if it drew people to the gig, <laughs> but uh, he was actually okay. He turned out to be all right. All right, he why don't we listen to the tape here? So. I would have, yeah, right at him. Actually, not at him. That's an assault. How do you say his name? Aries? Aries uh, Spears. Aries Spears. Aries Spears. Do they have him? Do they tape him bombing? No. So what you the the tape uh, picks up with the show just moving on to other business, I guess. And uh, Aries was back, you know, on his way back into the studio and interrupts them. He's a big dude from what I remember. Yeah. I was a big kid. Yeah, he, he, he wasn't when he was young. He was real small. So here we go. Oh, Oh, they have to do rock Aye. and roll still. Yeah, hey, twenty. Not good enough to do a talk show for four straight hours. Got to fit in that rock and roll. <laughs> Come on. What's wrong? What's the show name? Uh, Paul and Young Ron or something like that? I don't know. The Big 105.9, Miami's classic rock. Classic rock. <laughs> classic rock that really rocks, everybody. <laughs> the home of classic rock. <laughs> That's the new one. <laughs> classic rock that really rocks. Really rock. Oh, there's other classic rock Clock out hat. there. They Do they really, really rock? I'm they not sure. really rock. Let me take a look at my list here. <laughs> Here's Hart with Barracuda. Those radio, and I've worked for all of them, so, you know. But I always thought it was such a stupid thing, the home of rock and roll. And all the other rock stations in your area, they're yeah. they're, they're not the home of no. rock and roll. No. We're the home of rock and roll. Ah! Oh, Christ. no. Right on my fucking foot! <laughs> that fucking thing fell again right on my fucking foot! I I can't tell you how many times last week I asked for this to be fixed, and it just fell on my fucking bad foot. I have a foot thing on my foot, and it just fell on it. Don't laugh. I'm trying to get a foot thing on his foot. He He's has a, a foot booty. thing on his foot. He's got one of Why those, did that fall he's again? Got one of those Why bad did that fall again, <laughs> again on my again. bad foot? He's got one of those bad foot pants. <laughs> Dude, I got a boot on my foot because I have tendonitis, I have arthritis, and I have I have ligament damage. He's got old man foot. And it, right on my goddamn foot. That's the third, third time, time that fucking thing has fucking fallen. Third time. Holy uh, shit, is that aggravating? Uh, Anthony and Jimmy very serious, and me and Bob can't stop laughing. Guess we can't. Oh, it should not laughing. have fallen again. Right uh, on my foot. Oh my Holy God. shit. 
But he just I, I, saw your, I saw his face. <laughs> he just heard oh. that freaking whack. <laughs> scared the shit out of everybody. And you look at scare me, man. No, Holy he looked like a stress doll. <laughs> Somebody squeezed his gut. <laughs> and then he just... My, I got a foot thing on my fucking foot. Look at his boot. I got an arm thing on my foot. Look, look, at, this thing, look at this thing. <laughs> look at this thing he has to wear. Big, big foot thing. I have oh, enough shit. problems. He's going snowboarding after the show. I'm trying uh, to avoid uh, surgery. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, have, I, have, I have stage four damage. I have stage three damage. I'm one inch from surgery. And now you get stage four. And I want to bite somebody's fucking face for that. How did that happen? I want to know who fixed that. The AZT for the why station? did it not happen? Why was that not fixed? No one fixed it. It wasn't fixed. <laughs> Holy shit, is that uh, irritating? It was it fixed, it wouldn't have fallen. <laughs> what, how big was the thing that fell, though? It's <laughs> this big. It's a piece of what it's is solid. It? And it, it falls. <laughs> it's like, it's probably eight inches <laughs> off the Obi, ground. Obi probably has fishing string over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just, all right, He's right now. Funk. It. <laughs> <laughs> Whack. My fucking foot. I got a foot of a foot on my foot. Look <laughs> that fucking foot. <laughs> I want that fixed immediately. Dude, right in the middle of my goddamn fucking foot. It's so I I am so you're, you're leaving Wednesday. They'll never fix it. Do you it. people Adrian. think at HBO there's gonna be stuff falling on his foot? Gonna We're be gonna no. lose Jimmy because he's not gonna wanna come back to like hey, the hey, uh, things falling on his feet. Bingo pants has a great idea now though. Come on. Bingo pants. How you doing? Hey. Can you guys put that thing that fell on Jimmy's foot on the auction too? Yeah, now, uh, now, now it's now a we famous sell thing. It's famous. It's a famous thing. It's, it's a thing that it's fell it's on his foot. What happens is this: if his foot goes to stage four, we can just put his foot up there on, under the uh, on, under the console. There's like it's six inches off the ground. There's like a little shelf, and this is up on top of that, so it's falling from a height. Yeah. Look at that. It's not that high, but when that, when that when the end of that smashes your foot, it hurts. Look at that. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> and I, I asked for that last yeah. week to be fixed. But there was screws coming out of I it. I understand. Too. You know, you, Whatever, man. I'm just going to start really being fucking nasty. Yes. I just, when you ask for something to be fixed like that, because it's a physical hazard, why isn't it done? We have a why? lot of uh, audio that proves that you asked for it to Holy be fixed. Holy fucking shit, is that annoying. <laughs> oh, man, but really funny. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it's not like your karma didn't deserve that. <laughs> I hate him. I hope he dies of cancer. <laughs> Fuck them. You die. <laughs> Then you have something fall on your foot. Exactly. It's not right. <laughs> the universe came well, back and smashed your foot. Wow. Jimmy. Holy shit. You D okay? Don Did is you? in New York today, so we'll get it fixed. Oh, it's all fixed, Charles? Why don't you yeah, Doug, just fucking throw it over there. If they put it up, I'm going to throw it through the window. What? Feel how heavy that what, is. Can somebody want to weigh that? That is so heavy. And what it's got are these little fasteners that aren't working, I guess. Hey, uh, Ryan from Florida feels for Jimmy. Let's say hi to Ryan. A lot of people feeling yeah. for you right now. Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, man, what the hell's up with that prima donna? Prima donna? Dude, I'm sitting here, and something falls on my injured foot that I asked for to be fixed. I, I didn't say it's painted the wrong color. It fell on my foot. Here, here goes the, the, the tear coming from all the blue-collar workers out there that fall off the ladders and stuff every day and just get up and go back to work without saying a word. Well, dude, I didn't... Well, first of all, then, <laughs> fuck them. They're cowards. I didn't walk off the job. I'm still here. But what do guys do when they fall off a ladder? First of all, I didn't Nobody fall off a ladder. Does it fell, it's something fell on your foot. That's like, you know... Getting a cut or something on your hand, and you know, I have to go to the emergency room or something for a cut. Yeah, really? Is that what it's like? Stupid. It fell on my foot. I asked for it to be fixed. And let me tell you something. If I was a painter and I asked for something to be fixed and it fell, I'd complain. Any painter or any other job would complain, blue collar or not. <clears throat> nothing ever gets fixed, man. Well, that's annoying. You need someone to hold your hand, Jimmy? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just annoying, dude. When, when it's, it's, you're in the middle of something and you just <laughs> feel it dude. smash your foot. Yeah. And foot. it's like... You've asked for it to be fixed, and it's not fixed, and it's like one of a million things he asked for is not done. If we were working construction, sir, I don't think it would be a problem because it would be a, something that happens on a daily basis. When you come in to do a radio show every day, you don't expect to have heavy things falling on you. Yeah, but Jason from Michigan uh, makes a good point. I'm going to add to it. If you didn't throw the power drill away, you could have freaking fixed could've that Could have fixed thing. it yourself, Jimmy. <laughs> Crawled under there and there drilled go. a few zip screws in. <laughs> exactly. But you had to throw the drill away because it wasn't good enough for you. He's a fancy man. I smell foot diva. <laughs> fancy feet. Dude, foot the diva promo on the way. The problem is this. I've been having a serious problem with my foot. I am worried about it, and I'm trying to take care of it. I'm fucking hobbling around on this cocksucker awful boot. 
and I have to worry about sticking my fucking feet under the console and having shit fall. I would love to get that weight and see how much that weighs. That really, that really right Probably. on the bone of my foot. I'd say about four pounds. It's not four pounds. <laughs> how did your foot get so screwed up? Because yeah. I had um, twisted. I have. I have. Um, falling arches or whatever I have, my feet are a mess, so I needed orthotics. Yeah. So when you have problems with your feet like that, you stand a certain way subconsciously. You don't really, my foot really hurts. I'm really, really oh, angry. Oh, boy. That's how I messed up my knee. I'm sorry, I was foot. still talking about my foot. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why, why do you, when you hurt something, though, you have to keep repeating the body part? Like, when I, my knee, and he's like, my foot, my foot. <laughs> I have a foot thing on my, my foot. foot. I didn't know what to say. Bob, see thing. how funny this can be when it's on you? Oh, uh, see? See? I, I hurt see my how this foot, works? dude. I didn't, it's a foot thing on my foot. I didn't know what it was called. If Is there a way that during commercials or something, you could pull him losing his mind when that falls? Because I got to hear it again. He lost his mind right there. Dude, it, it, you know what it is? My foot hurt last night because I had uh, the bandage wasn't as tight as it has been. I was trying to get a, loose, a looser bandage on it, and it, today, it, now it's throbbing, and I'm just, oh, I'm no. so, ir I want to kick something. Not with this foot. Though. <laughs> what would they do if they had to do surgery, like you said? What would they be doing? To they would foot? go, I don't know. I have, I know on the left side of my right foot, I have, uh... It's a, it's a bone problem, and on the right side, it's a nerve. I was getting like oh, I was getting like numbness in my leg for months uh, when I would sit. Like, it was like a sciatic problem. This genius doctor I go to, she helped so far. I have none of that leg numbness any, anymore. She's fixing me. Yeah. She's fixing me. It's slow, and she puts a medicated bandage on it. But I got tendonitis, I got a little arthritis. I got so fucked up because I Aww. twisted it twice. Never and now you guys know who I was. I was hobbling along since like May. A bad little paw. I finally got it fixed, and it's like a slow process. But I can't be in a cast. I gotta, I gotta, you know, whatever. I gotta yeah. be out there doing. You got show business. Can't have stuff do. falling on your foot either. No, oh, dude, that that's what what annoys me is shit happens. But when you say, look, I have a problem with my my thing here. I'm injured. Can you not have that thing underneath <laughs> the desk falling on it? Say your foot. For the third, I know you're right. <laughs> you say your foot, you chicken. Don't say my thing. We're gonna go I'm not a chicken, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> We're chicken. gonna find the audio. Halloween. But I think I, uh, I think I caused that because someone said something really funny, and I either hit this really hard or kicked mm. something under oh. my thing, mm. and I think that was all it took to because yeah. this thing was barely, uh, you know, barely hanging on. Well, that dude, if you caused it by doing this. That's Something. not sturdy workmanship. No. I Worst understand. Understand. <laughs> workmanship. <laughs> workmanship. <laughs> workmanship. I really, I really have never done a real man's work in my life. No. I want to get some elbow grime. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you were talking about a painter. Well, he, he said painter. The guy on the phone raised painter. That's yeah. why I said that. All right. Painter. What the fuck? What does painter do? Drop we're going to We're gonna find the audio. <laughs> we're going to find it after break. You want to do? Our, uh, what do you want to do, Derek? I, I can't. Edit it out until we break in the computer. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just so. want to hear it because he yelled so loud. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to well, blow out anybody's oh, ears. Oh, I just got to hear it. Well, why don't we get back to the big 105.9? Right, the big 105. Miami's classic rock station. That's where you're at, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, we don't have to set this up anymore, no. do we? Ow. Harry Spears. Ow. Harry Spears from Ed TV went on the show. Thing fell on his foot. He got pissed. Well, what, what happened? He didn't got... have a good appearance, and the guys, after he left the studio, called him out on it. And Aries heard that and ran back in the studio and started uh, turn nice, the car around. He a, said he a was nice actually verbal fight. So, dude, this is actually oh. this is actually him you coming back into this. You know. Come here, baby. This is actually him coming back into the studio. Yeah, here we go. So the the, the show is moving on to other business uh, uh, that's much more important, like playing heart records. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, you, you said six hold listeners. On. Hold on, we're on the air now. <laughs> yeah, let's be on Are right you now. back? You're back. Okay. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Why does every uh, DJ on commercial radio sound exactly Hey, the same? we're back on the air now. I got to put on my radio guy voice. We got to get a montage Ooh. of all these guys that are one market sensations, and you will hear the same thing. They have the same exact voice. Don't they teach that to them, though? It, they have to enunciate and say words. There was a time when you got into radio, you had to have a really good voice. And right. then, uh, you know, somewhere along the line, you just you just went on the air as yourself. And the people that did that became really successful. But these other guys can't see that, so they have to hey. They have to s stay with the tried and true, which is that fake radio voice, everybody. It's so typical. Like, they, it's not even a, 
a different radio voice. It's all the same radio voice they put on. It's, it's really, they all sound alike. Yeah. yeah, but it's kind of fun to do. It is fun it's when fun. you're doing it yourself, yeah, just hanging it. out here, talking into the microphone. Hey, how you oh. doing? This is uh, Robert Kelly on RKL Live. How uh, you doing, Bob? Yeah, good, good to hear you. Yeah. Good to have you back my, on the program. My friend Jimmy just here, he just uh, fucked up his foot on his foot. <laughs> something <laughs> on his foot. He got something on his foot yeah. on his foot. Yeah, a foot <laughs> foot. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he has a foot fetish. <laughs> <laughs> Hysterical, 930. Five. Hi, I'm a woman. Now, guys, don't make fun. <laughs> Fuck you, cunt. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Just for once, I wish one of those guys would say no, that. No, you'll never. You'll never hear honesty. <laughs> <The> hole. <laughs> Every one of these one market sensations oh, has to have a hole with them. You'll never hear honesty <laughs> like that on oh, those we shows. We fought. We fought for years, Anthony and I. They wanted a hole on our program. Oh. <laughs> Just to balance it out, you know. Ugh. Ugh. We said Come no on. to the hole. Oh, <laughs> guys. Oh, well, Opie, now maybe we shouldn't go Don't down go that down road. Don't go down that road, yeah. <laughs> you, you fucking cunt. <laughs> oh, you shocked me on that one. I'm a shock jock. We're shock 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 Hold on, 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 we're on the air now, yeah, are you back, you're back, okay, oh, this is good, yeah, now, you you know, radio and TV is all about ratings, let's go ahead and get some ratings for you now, because you, you can leave if you want, or you can verbally thrashed me when I left, no, you verbally thrashed us in the hallway on the way out, I didn't thrash you in the hallway, all I said is, look, dog, I've been doing stand-up for 15 years, I've been doing thousands of radio stations, all right, so what happened here, I know the deal, you didn't do diddly on our show. Okay, oh, oh, diddly. Hey, whoa, whoa, those are fighting diddly. words. Diddly. When you don't do diddly, you are in deep wow. trouble with other radio personalities. Wow. Diddly, uh-oh. He did not go there. He did not go there. <laughs> he did, Opie. You've got to you... give your share of diddly How do you respond to diddly? You have to get up and just go, uh -oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> By the way, why did we graduate to the taking the pants down to fart thing? Because people have complained there's not enough hot in the show. <laughs> Jimmy, oh. Jimmy pulls his plump little cheeks out. He did. He pulled his little baby shoves, ass out. Shoves the mic right in the crack. You got splatter all over your ass now. You have to. Oh. But you know what the difference is, though? Like, as awful as it is, every one of you, you're drawn to those plump little delicious, oh. those two little have, soft, fleshy lemons. I'm just hoping a, a poopy pops out. <laughs> yeah. if that would happen. Believe me, if I shot a log onto the mic. That was the closest you got to having a little poopy pop It actually out. was. A little it's nugget fall out. A little out rumbly, yeah. yeah. No, it's <laughs> not going to be a nugget, dude. It's, it's going to be <laughs> something that hits the mic, it's lands on the floor, and in my socks. Uh, and it hits I, your foot, and you go, my foot. My foot. I got <laughs> shit on my foot foot. I thought it was going to be soft serve ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> a little Carvel. Right, yeah. Swirly swirls. <laughs> Fudgy the dick joke artist. <laughs> All right, let's get back to to, to to Paul and Young Ron, everybody. All right, Paul and Young Ron. He didn't do diddly, diddly on their show. <laughs> the deal. You didn't do diddly on our show. Okay, you came I didn't like the way you presented it. What are you talking about? You're having a conversation. Here's my point to you, and this is why right. I turned the car around and came back. I'm glad you, you came back. You were thrashing me, and all the listeners heard it. You were thrashing me to get the freak out of your studio and go back over there to the hippity hop you rap station out, where I they talk? have six listeners. Can I talk? I'm not done. I'm, I think I deserve the right to talk. You thrashed me when I left. And I'll respond. Say that everything you said on the radio to my face. Just let him respond. I'm going to say it to your face, and I'm going to respond to why I said that about the hip-hop. You walked out in the hallway and told this kid that, man, I went to the hip-hop station and we got along fine. I did all my material. That pissed me off because you didn't do any material on this show. Because the way that it was presented How to me was here, it presented to you? Let me tell you something. When you do shows and you're a comedian and you do impressions, no one likes for you to just go, hey, do this, do that. No one Bravo! I like this Aries guy. Absolutely. Bravo. That is so fucking true to, uh, as far as regular radio goes. Why don't you do uh, do that impression you do? Do some shack. Can we get hey, audio I hear you that? Do sh I, ha I hear you do shack. Let me hear you do a little shack. Bravo for calling him out, because that's what commercial radio does all the time. Was that Jimmy? I was saying we get audio of him. Is there any way we can get audio of him actually on that show? I'd love to hear how that went. Yeah, what happened beforehand? Yeah. 
See, and it's not easy. We struggle with this all the time. You get guests in. You want to make them feel comfortable, and you want to make them feel part of the environment. You don't want to ever just go, hey, Bob, uh, you know, and, and make them do a bit. Especially not his. Yeah, true. Sure. <laughs> but no, the difference is that... It's I was going to go with this, you know, and then, like, name one of your bits, but I didn't know any. Because oh, then, uh, then that would have worked better. We could take care right, of that yeah, right now. There's Thank a you. CD. Thank you, sir. Because I was going to, you know, try to set you up for yeah, one of the bits to do. Up. Hey, Bob, uh, naps. <laughs> I don't even know that joke. What the fuck? Did you read that off my CD? Yeah, it's track 12. <laughs> I, I don't remember the bit, but I bet it goes like this. Dude, I love taking fucking naps. <laughs> <laughs> fucking naps rule. If it was on your CD, it'd be like, I fucking hate naps. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, that wouldn't be on my CD. <laughs> that was very hurtful, Bob. <laughs> it certainly was. <laughs> Dude, I love naps! <laughs> right, let me try it again. You're right. I am a negative, fucking <laughs> little douche. Guys? Some... <laughs> guys in studio? We got a very funny guy, Bob Kelly. Hey, Bob Kelly's with us. Bob, hey, you I hear doing? you just got back from California. Yeah, I was in California out there uh, doing some stuff. You know, some L.A. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you, do you like California, Bob? Uh, actually, I don't. I hate California. You know, I'm Irish, and uh, you know, I look Spanish. Everybody just walks up to me out there. <laughs> 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 and you're like, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> That's fantastic. We'll be back just, after I'm 15 <laughs> minutes of commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm. Uh, that wasn't the joke. Oh. <laughs> anyway. So. Well, that, that's how it goes, because you have a track in your CD, California Sucks. See, oh. see how easy it is? And they is? really do laugh at the setup. And you're like, okay. Hey, hey Bob, it's uh, it's now fall. Do you like raking leaves? Oh, I hate raking leaves. It's funny you mention that. Why do you hate raking leaves? <laughs> ah, because you know what? As you're raking, they're falling. <laughs> oh. And you're raking, they're still there. <laughs> you know? I'm like, hey, why don't you come up with this season called Fell? All the leaves fell. I do this once. Yeah, that's kind of funny. That's, that's like a good bit, right? Yeah, it's all right, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> My foot. Dude, you know what? It's, it's okay to laugh at another person if that makes you feel better. I, yeah. Are you out of your mind? If that happened to me, you'd oh, still be laughing. The I first thing out of your mouth would be, ha, ha. No, it would it not happen to you, and we got three months of great material out of it. When you, when, you, when you hurt your leg... I was wanted just to rush that. to your aid. No, you didn't. I certainly did. I heard you guys. I listened to the audio. I was on Vicodin, almost dying. And yeah. then you go, listen, Dane, you have to get us that audio. Well, he did. <laughs> you keep your mouth shut and you get us that audio. You're right. Okay, Bob. Hey, man, feel better. Oh, Bob. All right, man. All right, guys. Okay. We're going to go back to the Paul and Young Ron tape. Oh, sure. I've been obsessed with kicking his legs since he heard it. So... <laughs> So Ari's uh, Spears calls the guys out, basically saying, you know, you need an environment to be funny. You can't just walk in and be hey, funny. Hey, be funny. Right. And, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Station, and we got along fine. I did all my material. That pissed me off, because you didn't do any material on this show. Because the way that it was presented How to me here. How was it presented to you? Let me tell you something. When you do shows, and you're a comedian, and you do impressions, no one likes for you to just go, hey, do this, do I that. No one did that. It can be presented in a better way. We started way. talking and about Redbox. as the host, you are the host. Yeah, we started it's your job. Hey, 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 h
every major comedian every, every, that every. has come through the Miami Improv, the I want Improv you to at the Hard Rock. I turned no, just, around. Hold on, let's just let, let me say, speak just, for a second. Let me talk right? just for a second. Yeah. As far as people doing impressions, we've had Kevin Pollack. Ooh. We've had Daryl Hammond. Oh. We've had other comedians that do impressions, and we say, "Hey, man, do this impression." Let me tell you and they do it. It's no big I, deal. I wasn't here when they, when all those people you just named, I wasn't here when they were here. So I don't know what they did, and therefore I don't care. Right. My point in turning around and coming back here was that you were talking very tough no when I left here. Tough. Yo, my man, I'm from the streets of New York. Uh -huh. I know what tough talk sounds like. Yeah. And if you're gonna talk about me that way, do it to my face. I'll do it to you. Oh, I'll yeah. Good. Coming up after these words. <laughs> Douchebag. This is an angry Negro we got here. Wow. <laughs> Coming up wow. after this twofer from Bad Company. <laughs> Let me tell you something. White guys will consistently back down to black guys. Well, it depends on what, uh, they, it, how they were talking. If they were just trashing him, but it, it sounds like they were like really probably talking shit. I wish we had audio yeah. of that. Oh, I'd love to hear that. Well, let's find out what happens next. Yes. I'm scared. <laughs> on the Paul and Young Ron show. I'm scared. Miami's classic rock. To my face. I'll do it to your comedy. Say everything you that you said to my face. What did I say that was so tough? Talk the way you was talking a second ago. I said, man, I go down to the hip-hop station where they got eight listeners. Why don't you go down there? So it's necessary to yell, say, though. my CD is trash and all that. Because well, if I, 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 I had never heard so your CD. I didn't use it. I did not use it. If I had done everything that y'all wanted me to do, if I had done everything that y'all wanted me to do, trash. the way you wanted me to do it, you would have still said my I, CD was trash? I didn't say it was trash. I said it wasn't funny. What did he say? I said it wasn't funny. What did he say, I know what I said. You don't have words in my mouth. We heard you. That's fine. I don't care. I'm standing right okay, here. Okay, let me give, I'm give you a real quick lesson because I'm going to be as professional as I can be under the circumstances. I'm going to go ahead and now that we done got all this out the way and leave your building or, as you said, your freaking station. But I'm going to tell you right now, be very careful what you say about people and how you say it because I'm going to let you know something else about black people. Right. When you talk like that to us and about us, you get your ass whipped. So if you got something tough to say, say it now. And so, I guarantee you, I'll whip your ass some in this studio. Let, let me tell oh, you yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, oh, wow. Wow. I like this guy. Yeah. Dude, that oh, had that uppity nigger went and hit me on the head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it, Bob. Relax. <laughs> I swear I'll blow this nigger's head all over this town. <laughs> Dude, th that had to bring people into the club. I mean, if, if I was oh. at home listening to a guy scream like that, how do you not go see him? Black people. Yeah. Anybody. I would just go see any, To see a comedian who just went off like that, even if it wasn't funny, just to scream <clears throat> at threatening to beat up the awful local host. <laughs> I don't like how he, you know, I, I totally see his point. But again, why did it have to go, uh, let me tell you something about, about black, black people. people. Yeah. Like, oh, that was a little on, bit. Guy. Well, they, they, they might have raised the racial issue. And again, I'm playing devil's advocate, but they were saying go to the hip-hop station. So maybe they kind of brought that... Uh, theme into it. I don't know, but he seemed pretty annoyed that they said go to the hip hop I think station. he was using the fact that b white people are afraid of black people. Uh, they're in his little tirade. Maybe. He it's was true, trying though. to... Uh, they, they have different It skin. is absolutely well, true. Well, there's 11 of that zoo crew there and one of him and they're all yeah. going... Bah, 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 yeah, bah, bah, bah. a zoo crew, exactly. <laughs> How much courage do you think those guys have? Oh, those when was the last time you saw a black guy alone, though? A famous black guy alone. He had people. You he had think about, he, had, yeah, uh, he had five people with him. Two cousins, Where an uncle, possibly? an aunt who's his money manager. Why don't we get him on the his phone? Business we'll manager. We'll yeah, I, we definitely got to. Where talk was the to hole during this whole thing? Yeah, where was the hole? Getting ready to do her news, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a pretty big guy though. I wouldn't fuck with him. All right, let's see how this ends, guys. Guarantee you, I'll whip your ass Some in this studio. Let, let me tell oh, you, you something. Yeah, don't threaten anybody here. I'll whip your ass in this studio. You're not going to whip security right now. It's not a what a faggot. <laughs> Master Poe doesn't understand. He's rushing over to their studio right now. Yes. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have to hop on a plane. No, Poe, it's recorded. Gentlemen, no, why? angry Negro. It's still a heated discussion, and all of a sudden, that's how he ends it. Get security right now. Well, he's a big Drag guy threatening it. to beat them up. Yeah, he, uh... Dude. He was he was bringing it to the next level right there. He really was. He was bringing it to. The, he was trying to get somebody to say something. He wanted to punch Someone, somebody. He was trying to get somebody to say something like, "Yeah, we'll do it, bitch." Right. And pank. You know, and, and start get security. Punches. Get security right he now. He was trying to make it sound like he was still a tough guy, and right. he's calling for help. That's get what I mean. Get security before I do yeah. something like get my teeth knocked out. Hold me back. Hold me back. I'll throw my headphones right at your face, sir.
All right, let's continue. Oh, yeah. We're right here, pal. We've got ass in the studio. Gary, get security right now. It's not a racist issue. Let's not get violent here. One of my family It's not a question of getting violent. You trashed me verbally on the radio. You came in here, you had an opportunity to sell tickets for your show, and you did squat. You know, it's amazing how you hide behind your mic and you talk real talk. Nobody's hiding in here. No one's threatening you. Not one person threatened Eric, you, dude. Stand me on the streets and talk to me that way. Eric. I'll walk out in the street right now and talk Eric. to you. Get your fat ass whooped. Well, maybe Eric. so. I don't Eric. give a crap. I'm not here to fight. Hey, do the clumps before you go, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you egging me on you. Oh, that's oh, so brave. As security Fuck walks you, in. you, asshole. Security walks in Wait, and I, now I, he's talking. I will back up. That was real brave. You heard security walk in and tell him, you know, it's time to go, and then he chimes in. Yeah, because now, I mean, obviously security's between right. Aries and, and what a uh, pussy is calling you. That is really funny to say. <laughs> it's funny, but it's it's such a pussy move. Do the clumps now. The word the clumps too. Hey, do clumps. the clumps and then buddy. <laughs> he should have used the N word right there. <laughs> Nobody should have whispered it. <laughs> hey, just mouth it. <laughs> like oh. It freak the guy out. It's kind of funny, but what a pussy. Can you hear security? Yes, yeah, she can. I backed it up. Listen. Don't, don't take his pictures. Right now, the Harry, last is scaring him. Well, maybe Harry, so. I don't Harry. give a crap. I'm not here to fight. Hey, do you hear that? What happened? What did I miss? No, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to hear <laughs> the, uh, what, what did he say there? The... What did I miss? No, the, uh, I... Why is everyone giving me hand signals and stuff? What happened? It sounded like he was alarmed. Uh... If you listen really... If you listen really close, you could hear, uh, you could hear, uh, come on, buddy, let's go. Listen. Get your fat ass whooped! Well, maybe Aries, so. I don't Aries. give a crap. I'm not here to fight. Hey, do the clumps before you go, buddy. Yeah, you egging me on. You'd love me to punch Do me something. Hit somebody. Just do the clumps. Sue your you ass me. quick. Yeah, you, and I bet you you would. Ask come on, do red box. What a dick. He waited until <laughs> He waited, security. and now he's like, hit yeah. somebody. Come on. Hit yeah, you bet. I'll sue you. I'll sue you. <laughs> And I was injured by Aries. That's making us white people look bad. All of a sudden, you throw the "I'll sue you." I'll yeah, I'll, in. I'll, I'll hit you with my foot. Foot. Oh yeah, you hit me. Talking I'll... about racket head, like Aries is gonna come over there and punch him in the face. And what does Whitey say? My lawyer will call you. I'll I'm sue getting you. my attorney after you. Oh, we stink. Love you, do something! Hit somebody! Oh, do the clumps! Sue your ass quick! Yeah, you, and I bet you you would! Absolutely! Pump! God, you come, come in here trashing people. Oh, <laughs> get out of here. He's bad, man. Yeah. Wow. That's, that, you're going to hear that? Your, see, that that's he what, is, and he will punch you. But and now, they, didn't, they didn't say you're bad when he was there without that, security. That's what I'm no. Now all the, all the stuff comes out now that they know they're protected. Yeah. Wow, what a bunch of pussies. He did call him a punk right as soon as security showed up. Yeah. Because the guy was going, uh, can we talk now? When he, yeah. when he was actually there. And then uh, Aries was saying, why don't you talk tough like you were when I'm in the studio now? And they weren't. Until security comes, and then they're, yeah, punk. That's why I want to hear what they said when he left. I want to hear his appearance of what right. they said when when he left. Tough yeah. guy. Punk. Here. He's bad, man. Yeah. Wow. That's, that, you're going to hear that on Access ass. Hollywood tonight. <laughs> He's not that big of a star. Oh what a Lord. jerk. Yeah. Access Hollywood Get him out of the building. In that guy. <laughs> yeah. Christ almighty. Unbelievable. That was great. Get yeah. him out of here. He's going to whip some fat ass. Yeah, he's going to whip you. Then they go with oh. the fake applause at these shows. Yeah, they God. really came across like tough guys. I wish what? there was a hidden camera as they were exiting the building by themselves to the parking lot. Oh, looking around. Tiptoeing. You know like security a burglar. with them. Of you know they had security they with them. They did not just play the fake applause thing. Listen yes, to they this. did. Yeah. Christ almighty. Unbelievable. That was great. Get God. him out of here. He's going to whip some fat ass. Yeah, he's gonna whip did you have our back, Lamont, or did you the run? Fun, the funny thing is, one of my best friends is black. Of yeah. course. Who helped walk him out? I worked That's with a I black woman say. in Raleigh for six, seven years, and she's like my best friend. Jeez. I love what? that. Are they and being serious? The what does that mean? That was classic. Yeah. That was the greatest, oh my God. The greatest five minutes of radio. That's, that beats the Dan Natterman. Yeah. Wow. That was yeah, the same show. That's the same show that did Natterman that way. Th these guys talk shit when you leave. Yeah. I'll say, look, say what you want about the Opie and Anthony radio program. I'm going to single them out. It's Ope. is awful to your face. When you're in the studio, you get the crickets. You get the fucking the awful sound clips when he's right there. It doesn't happen when you leave. It you happens talking? while you're in studio. What are you talking about? 
When, when you're awful to face. people, when yes. you're awful to people, you're awful yeah. to them yeah. when they're right here. You'll throw something right in their face like a whole dude, thing of poker chips. Dude, the guy was doing the fucking thing. You threw poker chips at him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I fucking, dude, I didn't run and hide in another room and make phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I did, but that was because it wouldn't have worked the other way. And people are uh, talking about the Bernie Getz thing. I don't yeah. know. I took that pretty far. Come on. Dude, yeah. Bernie no? Getz shot four people. <laughs> right. Oh, He's on. not a black guy doing improv. Hold on. A lot of people, <laughs> killed four, shot four people. A lot of people calling me out on this, though. Mike, go ahead. Hey, LB, what's happening? Hey. Hey, let's remember that you were the one that was hiding behind the desk. When big, tall, lanky, white Bernie Getz broke a CD. No, dude, I got to jump in for for sweet, for sweet, sweet abs here. What had happened was Bernie. He didn't care when Bernie yelled at him. When Bernie went out to his bag and then came back in, that's when he freaked yeah. out because Bernie went to his fucking bag. And we weren't. Uh, we were wondering if Master Poe searched the guy. Actually, that was a real fear. Like all, he ran out. I wasn't the only one. Like he got. He came back in and we didn't know what he had in his hand and that freaked us all out. Uh, you're a hundred percent right. Right, but we took that pretty damn far. Yeah. Uh, Chris from Phoenix has a great uh, line. He said, "Doing do the clumps before you go equals now get your fucking shine box." <laughs> it's the same. You know he wanted to kill him after that. Kill him. Well, their little bit didn't make Access Hollywood. It made uh, local TV. Oh, uh, it did? Yeah, so let's take a listen to this and how it was reported. Da, 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 da. Comedian? Now a story you'll see only on 4, yeah. a morning radio show squabble that has South Florida talking. CBS 4's Jason Wheeler. Wow, we should be getting freaking coverage every day. Yeah. This, that wasn't that bad, was it? We've had a lot worse. Well, he is on a, a show for all. He's been on it for a long time. He did threaten to savagely beat the host. Yeah, and they and probably they did have nothing. somebody. <laughs> That is a good one. Oh, he was hot under the collar. I'll say. <laughs> now a story you'll see only on 4, a morning radio show squabble that has South Florida talking. CBS 4's Jason Wheeler reports from Coconut Grove. What? Comedian Ari Spears slated to perform tonight here at the Improv in Coconut Grove. Sold out. Uh, dude, if yeah. that had to sell tickets. Sold had to. Sold out. In Coconut Grove, no doubt the show will be different than his pre-show performances on local radio here in South this Florida, robot? which have been no laughing matter uh, at no all. No laughing <laughs> matter. <laughs> Harry Spears. Is this a fake? fake? He is here at the improv. Warning, warning, look out, angry Negro. <laughs> The guy is talking like a race, like Rock Quarry. But I am Rock Quarry. I'll tell Fred and Barney who I am. They'll get a big kick out of it. <laughs> what a buffoon. Improv in Coconut Grove. No doubt the show will be different than his pre-show performances on local radio here in South Florida, which have been no laughing matter at all. We got that clip. No laughing matter. No laughing matter. <laughs> no, laughing matter. <laughs> no laughing matter at all. Bitty, 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 bitty. Yeah, exactly. He sounds bitty, like bitty, Tweaky. Bitty, 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 bitty. bitty. No laughing matter at bitty. all. Didn't you hate Tweaky? I like him. Must sterilize. Must sterilize. <laughs> Here in South Florida, which have been no laughing matter at all. Oh, Bill Perhaps Shatner's comedian Ari Spears just wanted to be himself on the Paul and Young Ron morning show yesterday. Apparently, he was not interested in showing off his repertoire of impersonations. He started yelling at the interns in the hallway saying, you know, I'm not somebody's puppet. You don't tell me what impersonations to do. That was a little unnerving. Unable, they felt, to get any entertainment value out of Spears, the hosts dismissed their guest and then began to criticize his appearance on the show. The comedian got wind of it, though, and returned to the studio and with mics open, brought the house down with a tirade that made it abundantly clear that he was none too happy being the butt of the joke. Be very careful what you say about people and how you say it. Because I'm going to let you know something else about black people. Right. When you talk like that to us and about us, you get your ass whipped. So if you got something tough to say, say it now. Warning, and I guarantee warning, you, I'll whip your ass so in the studio. Warning, warning. We have tried unsuccessfully so far to get a hold of Aries Spears for direct comment. He was, though, on another South Florida radio station this morning responding to what happened yesterday. We'll have that coming up later on today. Oh! In Coconut Grove, Jason Ooh, Wheeler, CBS. Oh, 
That is the same one that did Natterman. That's why I got no respect for those guys. They fucking do it when you leave the building. All right. Well, Paul and Young Ron from uh, Miami, they will not be receiving a golden ticket from... Well, really? They, they should get a NFC. yellow one because they're cowards. Fucko. They're on the fucko list. Yeah, cowards. What pussies. They did it to Natterman, too, and I remember Dan told me about it. And that, that's funny. That's the same show. I, I wonder if that was the same one that did Dane that way. We still have four uh, golden tickets to give away, and they will not be receiving one. What list are they on, Opie? Uh... I don't know. Maybe the fucko list, I guess. My foot if was we going... Only, if we only have two lists, I guess they'd have to be on the fucko list. My foot was going for a golden ticket, but now it's on the broco list. What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? <laughs> Here's what... First of all, Fan gave me a polite laugh, which just acknowledged that the joke was over. Um, I stared right at you. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I would know. I didn't make eye contact with anyone. <laughs> that was that was childhood rape. Uh. <laughs> All right, this would be a good point to uh, take a break. But the, wait, oh, it was I because fucko <laughs> and, and <laughs> the Opie and, and Anthony Arson continues. <laughs> sound kind of close. Go to opianthony.com. Sixty-one items will be gone after today's program. Sixty-one items are saying bye bye. We're gonna take a break. Oh, Eric is uh, adding more. <laughs> Items to the Opie and Anthony <laughs> auction. Ego. You can check them all out by going to opianthony.com and uh, clicking on the, the link. I guess Derek has the audio of uh, Jimmy hurting his just <laughs> hurting his foot Jim just minutes ago. Uh -huh. just, well, Ron and Fez, really fast. Could you show him the little booty? Oh, Jimmy has a real problem. See, he's wearing the he's wearing the uh, <laughs> snowboarding uh, boot today. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, and 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 it's very bad, but it's been getting better, yeah, which is improving. a good thing. It's I'm improving. He goes to this doctor, taking care of him. And out of out of nowhere, this thing has fallen on his foot three times. Two times. Look under the thing. That it weighs ninety pounds. And it comes from a fucking a height. It fell twice last week. This big, this yeah. big console board. I asked them to fix it. What what else is new? It wasn't done properly. So this morning we're getting ready to do the Aerie Spears bit, and my foot is out. Um, and it just falls, and yeah. my foot is throbbing now. It hasn't hurt in a month, and I'm, I'm yeah, this so is, aggravated. This is no laughing matter. Maybe they no. fixed it. Maybe there's a ghost in the studio. Maybe yeah, that's the dead shemale hooker you killed once that's haunting the studio. Haunting the studio? Halloween. <laughs> 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 Should be fixed. There's plenty of chewed gum down there. Just stick, uh... All right. So, stick a piece of hubba bubba. So here's the audio of Jimmy hurting his foot about, I don't know, half hour ago. No. We're the home of rock and roll. Ah! Oh, Christ. no. Right on my fucking foot. That fucking thing fell again right on my fucking foot. <laughs> this could be a problem. <laughs> I don't feel like I just love shit like this. I, I can't tell you how many times last week I asked for this to be fixed. And it just fell on my fucking bad foot. I have a foot thing on my foot, and it just <laughs> fell on it. Don't laugh. I'm trying to. He has a foot thing injured. on his foot. He, he has, has a, a foot booty. thing on his foot. He's got one of those, Why did that fall he's again? Got one of those Why bad did that fall again, again on my again. bad foot? He's got one of those bad foot boots. Dude, I got a boot on my foot because I have tendonitis, I have arthritis, and I have, I have ligament damage. He's got old man foot. And it, right on my goddamn foot. That's the third, third time, time that fucking thing has Ooh. fucking fallen. Third time. Holy oh. shit, is that aggravating. Uh. Anthony and Jimmy, very serious, and me and Bob can't stop laughing. It should not have fallen again. Right uh, on my foot. Oh my Holy God. shit. <laughs> he just I, I, saw her, I saw his face. He just, he just oh. heard that freaking <laughs> whack. <laughs> scared the shit out of everybody. And you look at scare this. me, man. Don't Holy he look like a stress doll. <laughs> Somebody squeezed his gut. <laughs> and then he just sn my. I got a foot thing on my fucking foot. <laughs> look at his boot. I got an arm thing on my foot. Look, look, look at this thing. Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this thing has to wear. <laughs> Big, big foot thing. I have oh, enough problems. Shit. He's going snowboarding after the show. I'm trying uh, to avoid uh, surgery. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, have, I, have, I have stage four damage. I have stage three damage. I'm one inch from surgery. And now you get stage four. And I want to bite somebody's fucking face for that. How? Do 
Oh, wow. It, it wow. goes on from there. You'll have to listen to the replay if the, you missed the, that earlier. The best part, the initial screaming <laughs> and the foot thing on my foot. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> So we're back live now. I have a foot thing on my foot. You right, Jimmy? Of course I'm you just, do. You, get out of there. What, what else is fucking new? Can you yeah. fix this? No. He's very angry. What else is new? Jimmy, angered. it's not like feet don't get amputated. I mean, things like this happen. Yes. And you might have to deal with it. Long term. It would actually be easier than asking for something to be fixed properly. Look, just cut it off <laughs> so it doesn't actually stretch <laughs> far enough to be injured. Holy shit. Wow. I don't know. I, just, you know, I do my job, you know? If I, if I right. show up every day and fucking open my mouth and words don't come out, I'm fired because I'm not doing my job. Right. That's what it should be for everybody. So if, if things have fall down three times after you're, uh, uh, you've asked to have it put, put up permanently? Dude, I, don't, I, don't just, I just don't comprehend how people aren't good at their jobs. I don't get it. Mm. Is that somebody's job to actually... Fix that? I would assume. Well, we don't yeah. get volunteers. I mean, we don't just fucking hold a <laughs> sign out. Everybody got a screwdriver and somebody pulls over. I think it's Habitat for Humanity. You're supposed to come in and put yeah. that up. Be better. What's the silly question? It's Is that somebody's like, job? What are they doing? They're just foot. placing it back up there? I, I yeah. don't know. Apparently they are. They just put it back. It'll be the fault of the Just as loose as it's been. It won't be the, nobody's fault, of course. It's, it's, it'll be a fault of the, the actual inanimate object. I don't, I don't think it's supposed to. It looks like it's supposed to be able to come out. And go in. It's not supposed to be screwed in. Supposed well, to. they got to figure out something else. All right, listen. <laughs> uh, like, you, do you have said it's not <laughs> Pischetti with a napkin <laughs> at night, yeah. too? Supposed to. Is it going to stay in there? I don't know. He said it's not a supposed to. <laughs> well, that's the way I talk. Hey, you are we... Uh, that, Anthony, huh? Not at all. Steve, what do you got here? <laughs> what is it, uh, the voicemail? It's, um... Yeah, is this good? It's angry. It's angry. I guess I don't know much about good. the Boston sports DJs, but uh, it's... I ben guess would John, know. Where's yeah, Ben? Well, I just, he was the one that told me to get it, but it's John Dennis yelling at, uh, leaving a nasty voicemail for uh, this Ryan Russillo, who I guess was drunk and hitting on Dennis's daughter the night before. There's a sports radio war going on up in Boston with EI. <laughs> Buddy Holly glasses, Ben. <laughs> so, here's the audio. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where'd you get those glasses from? The Hubble Space Laboratory? <laughs> Two days left before Jim leaves. Yeah, no, believe me, I'm anxious. I think Ben's going to be the happiest, right? <laughs> Why? I like you, Ben. You don't like me? Uh, I think Ben's going to be pretty happy when you're gone. Why, yeah. Ben? Why are you going to be happy? All right, Ben, wait. What's the deal, though, really? There's two yeah. sports stations up there? There's two, uh, there's two sports stations, and these guys, Callahan is the guy that got suspended for the monkey joke about the Metco students. Remember that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Metco students up mm. in Boston. Mm. And apparently... Left a very angry voicemail for his rival, morning host on the zone. And the rival was hitting on this guy's daughter. Yeah, where was that at? It was at some party. The details are still like coming up. Mm. Don't with that. So this guy just called up his, this guy's voicemail yes. and shut the fuck. All right, and, and we have the audio. All right, here's the audio. Hey, is this uh, Rotillo or Rotillo or Rodillo or Rosillo or whoever the, your name is? All right, so right off the bat, he's going to make believe he doesn't know the guy's I name. I would have went with the dildo, Rodildo joke. I like the Rodildo. Right? Is he yeah. all drunk dump? Huh? Is he drunk? Is that the gimmick? He sounded mm. a little slurry. Yeah. Probably, uh, you know, we got a couple of glasses of courage to make that call, I think. Right. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, Got to defend his daughter that was hit sure, on yeah. by this guy that he's leaving a message for. John huh? Dennis calling. Rodillo. Um, two points Uh-oh. you need to understand. Number one, I don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> Or what it is you do. I guess uh, you're on the zone. And um, I guess you're a radio wannabe. Beyond that, I've never heard a word out of your mouth. I don't know who the hell you are. And I don't even know what you do. And and I guess you're going around telling people, including Chachio, my producer, and my daughter last night, that I shit on you and say, I don't know what you do or or... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You're, you're quoting me by saying that. Hey, brother, I don't know the first goddamn thing about you. Isn't he? Number <laughs> Hold on. He said he's, <laughs> this guy was going around to his producer and his daughter saying that this guy shits on him. Says he doesn't know who he is or what he does. It's exactly what he's done. The whole t- Didn't he hit on his daughter? I hope that comes up because if you get a call like this, then you have to fuck the daughter. You don't <laughs> yeah, just hit right. on her. Now you got to make it your life's mission. How great would that be? You were hitting on my daughter. She's four. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. As angry as he is, he keeps the radio voice going. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, look yeah. here, asshole. Sounds like he's doing it on his radio show, right? Right. You're over at the zone, Boston's <laughs> home of sports. 
Classic to throw sports. the slug line in and everything. <laughs> right. Uh, coming up next, I'll be uh, talking about your... Uh, Why don't you talk into a mic? <laughs> I know you're sure, you are just, You're talking oh, you're just in talking cyberspace. Into, yeah. I really didn't even hear the thing. I'm listening to his fucking earlobes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Why don't we go back to it? Number two, I'm wondering if you're still hung over or were you so drunk and thrown up last night that you even remember any of these conversations? So let me tell you a couple things. I don't know who the hell you are. I don't give a shit who you are. Eric Nagel? <laughs> well, yeah, obviously gives a shit who he is or he wouldn't be calling. <laughs> Eric Nagel. <laughs> Another drunk <laughs> who I, might not remember what he did. I heard you were vomiting and cock blocking. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> who would argue with a machine? Why would you even do this? Why He's would you leave arguing with a machine. It's insane. He yeah. went into the wrestling promo for a second. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> yeah, brother. I heard the brother thing. Brother. Next brother. time you call my daughter a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a problem. <laughs> but I guess you're hitting on my daughter oh. and telling her stuff that your dad, meaning me, uh, is criticizing what it is you do for a living. I don't know the first goddamn thing about you. Number two, you're a fucking drunk <laughs> who's hit on my daughter and saying... I want to be with you and create a scandal. I'll tell you what, you want to create a scandal. Why don't you, as like half my age, what are you, late 20s? I'm early 50s. You want to create a scandal? Why don't you come and find me, and I'll rip your fucking ears off and your nose off, and I'll shove them up your ass and kick your balls up around your head. <laughs> to what? replace your ears oh. and nose. Sounds like he's serious, though, guys. He Come did on. not have to tell his age. Right. He just had to give that insult, <laughs> and you know how old this guy is. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Buster. Listen up, bucko. I'll rip your ears and, and your nose off, and then your balls in your head. Oh, God. That's the radio professional in him. He's still setting the table. I'm right. in my 50s. You're half my age. He wants to make sure it all gets out there. Oh, you have have to have sex with his daughter. Yeah, you got to do it now. All right, so we're going to go back to the... Uh, the All right, that's the, where we were. The insult from the old man here to the young the young sports guy that works at the zone. What do you say? I, I rip your ears off your nose, shove them up your ass, and then bring in Betsy, me, you, Betsy. <laughs> we'll drink, do some drugs, I'll fuck you. Let's get crazy. We'll get Mark Parento. No, Mark Parento. Hey, we're going candy. Here we go. A scandal? I'll tell you what. You want to create a scandal? Why don't you, as like half my age, what are you, late 20s? I'm early 50s. You want to create a scandal? Why don't you come and find me, and I'll rip your fucking ears off and your nose off, and I'll shove them up your ass and kick your balls up around your head. That would create a scandal. You want to be in the eye column? You want to create a scandal? You want to be something other than some jag off on the zone? <laughs> Why don't you come see me face to face? Give me ten seconds. Tell me I'm Ryan Rotello or whatever the fuck your name is. I'll kick your balls up around your ass. You can go to a hospital. Then it'll create a scandal. Do you remember any of this from last night? Okay. Do you remember any of this from last night? Give me a call. Go ahead and give me a call. End of message. Delete. Press. But if you're pissed off uh, that this guy was doing this with your daughter, wouldn't you go find him? Yeah, you or his machine. First. You'd be so mad that you're just going to sit there waiting for him to knock on your front door? Well, you know, a psychologist would enjoy this whole thing because it's a, he's supposed to feel aggressive towards another man. What's he bringing up? Asshole. Balls. Ah. Jack off. It's all coming across a little drunk and a little sexual at yeah, the same time. Yeah, yes. So, mm. It's like a prison fight. I'll kick your balls by your ass. And that's like threatening, <laughs> I'll punch your nose right into the middle of your face. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, good, good job, God. <laughs> I'll fucking knock your, your fucking ears right in the side of your head. I swear to God. You know, it's God. Why did I just do the same joke twice? <laughs> <laughs> it bombed the same time. <laughs> You're happy, oh. dude. Your foot. Why your foot's in pain. Your Why did I think foot. that would fool anyone? Not only did I do it twice, I stole the concept from Anthony. Because he's the one that pointed out, asshole and balls are together. That's okay. So, we both use uh, our own uh, our no, inspiration you came up from with each it, other. I stole it. And then I stole it twice. And the second time, people were like, enough. Oh. You wonder why stuff falls on your foot. Wow. Thanks, Bob. Way to bounce oh, me out. Jesus, Bob. <laughs> 
I feel like a stupid <laughs> crooner over here with this microphone. <laughs> you just it had to be body. you. Hey, Obi, good to see you. Not a mess. Welcome to the show. It had to be you. It's a nice show. It's a great show foot. in here. The only intimate. guy that has to hold his mic. It's very intimate in yeah. here. It's nice. All right, why don't we take a break? That, uh, what I was going to okay. say, though, is that guy just feels old. He probably feels right. very old at that point. Uh, there's a young, you know, the young guy from the other station. Right. And he's there wheeling in on his daughter. That's got to make him feel bad. So now he's got to tell him a little something. And it didn't seem like the daughter was offended or spit no. in the guy's face. She was aroused. There I was went, something happening Yeah, there. yeah. This wasn't like, my daughter is, uh, you know, d- not interested. Right. Her little her little body was telling her things she had never heard before. Oh, I wonder something. if she was crying while he's making the phone call. Please don't call him, Daddy. Right. Daddy! Please. My oh. daughter left a slug trail in her diapers. <laughs> See, I don't think he would say that. I love that one. <laughs> slug trail. Ugh. Let's say hi to Ari Spears, man. What's happening? Yo, yo, studio, yo, yo, man. Yo. Everyone knows everyone here? Yeah. You yeah. know Rich Voss. You know Patrice, right? Yeah. Very We're players well. in the comedy business. What? We're yeah. players in the comedy. Uh, I hear that. We bump into each other from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> on the road. I mean, you cats from Mad TV, if you cats from uh, Last Comedy Stand. What's happening, baby? How you feeling? <laughs> VH1, remember the 90s? <laughs> <laughs> I really am a slave. I can't. I, I want to say no, but they just keep paying me, man. Nah. Hey, it, uh, it's Whip Him Out Wednesday. Aaron has some advice for the guys out there in Kentucky. Aaron, go ahead. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi. Hi. I love you guys. I listen to you guys every morning. But I just want to let the, all the guys out there know with the wild stickers on the back of their trucks to drive just a little slower on Wednesdays. I must have chased this guy down for 20 minutes trying to flash this guy this morning. He She's was got her so tits fast. hanging out, foot on the gas pedal, just trying to show this guy her tits. And, and the guy's got a wow sticker, has no idea how close he was to getting wow. <laughs> probably just listening to Merle Haggard, can't hear her beeping the horn. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, this can be said, satellite. You can curse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For a woman that yeah. can drive 80 miles an hour and flash a guy and keep up, you know? Do you have a nice set? Thanks. Do you have a nice set? She thought you said oh, you, you have a nice set. Yeah, thanks. I have no idea. I'm not sorry. I can't, I can't hear you guys. Did you say, do I have a nice rack? Do you have nice tits? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, at mm. that point, you would say, yeah, they're 36 Ds. They're 30, <laughs> you know, what, what do you got? 32 32 C's. 32 C's. Mm. Which, I'm pretty top-heavy for my size. What's the matter? 32 C? Yeah. 32 C? That's not top-heavy for her size. We oh, you said 32 pounds. C? 32 C, yeah. Oh, okay. So, the you know. Oh, yeah, she's right. It's not bad. Her back is uh, small. Are you a petite girl? Small with big boobs. <clears throat> small back, so big I, boobs. I'm about 5'4", 100 pounds. Do you like big tits pounds. or firm tits? What do you like? Firm. You like firm better than big, right? Yeah. Like the big, the big, the big thing ones. is so you know, white overrated. Guy, white guy discussion. Go ahead, dude. Oh, really? <laughs> I know. <laughs> we'll tight, I like tight. Don't boobs. worry. We'll Boop talk about booty in a minute. Yeah. I like I like them soggy. I like my titties look like uh, Bible slingshots. It's <laughs> 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 <That is> disgusting. <laughs> There's nothing worse. Oh, man. The fucking nipples pointing at their toes. Oh, I love it. No. Oh, I love nasty. it. How about no. hair? You ever get the hair on the tits? How fucking nasty. I don't know. Oh. You don't mind that? I do not mind that. Right. Listen, let's tits. say goodbye to Aaron. Just Aaron, thanks for the advice. <laughs> Pull it. Thanks. <laughs> Snap it right out of there. All right, guys, slow down no. if you got the wow stickers. You've heard Someone's me. calling Anthony out. This never happened. Anthony is a little girl? Go ahead, John. Whoa. Hey, how you guys doing? All right, Hi, sir. Why am I a little girl today? Well, I just wanted to know what kind of uh, dress you were wearing today. Oh, pull your skirt oh, down, bitch. What? Oh, 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 what did I do? Uh, yeah, all right, you can't you can't get out of your car because you're going to get wet. Somebody's got to park your car. You, you have a cook. I mean, what the hell is that about? Your apple cakes at, at Starbucks? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's not looking good. Here. <laughs> all right, I do come across as quite a little faggot here on the show. I understand that. <laughs> it's not looking good. But I'm he, a fancy man with fancy needs. And, but when he wants to be, he's a pit bull, trust yeah. me. I had, you know what it is. Let, I'll be honest with you, John. I'll be honest with you. Okay. I have done what they called um, sold out. I have yeah. uh, I went from working in construction for many many years. I call I worked the old my ass 360. Off. I worked my ass off. I got into a gig where it's not even work anymore. It's hanging out with your friends goofing on shit and they pay you tremendous amounts of money to do it. And for years I still just was like, 
all right, I got this. I'll put it in the back. Because when you grow up and you're, you're piss poor and you're working like a slob, you got the rolled up fucking 20s in your pocket at the <laughs> bar, and it's like Friday, you've just been paid, and, it, and it's all you got, and you're at the bar spending it all. But, but as fast as you are with the limos and all that, you're still down to earth. He doesn't have limos. Still clothes at Coles. I am up, right? so down to earth. I know. I know people exist that are less Anthony well off than Anthony had him in the pulse of the hood. Pulse of the hood. Anthony, Anthony oh, before fact. radio, had a very tough life. No joke. You can see it in his it eyes. Went, he had a very of tough course. Life. I worked like a dog. Do you notice him so, and Voss just got the same... Look, it's that it's that yeah. I li- I'm still living. It's like I'm <laughs> still here. Thumbs <laughs> up. And one guy made it. One guy's still trying. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but well, now man, I've guys decided are <laughs> to take some liberties with uh, my cash and get a nicer vehicle. Uh, and since we have security people and whatnot that are here, if the weather sucks, why am I going to park? A block and a half away, and then walk in the rain right. when uh, Master Poe can now park the car. That's Why, nice. if I want a low fat apple cake, Dude, should I not Harry be Spears. able to we eat wanna, it? We want to look cool in front of him, man. Why, in God's name, <laughs> am I a faggot? He's just doing, doing for the radio, radio Aries. Well, people don't know. People just don't they know. Just don't. Listen, our listeners listen too closely, unfortunately. Bill, go ahead. Bill, go ahead. Bill, go Ooh, ahead. Man. They listen really closely. Bill, Bill, the guy that's hearing us through his phone right now, speak. You speak. You're Who? right. Yeah, you. Yeah, you just went. Oh, hey, Bill, it's Joe. Oh, Joe. Sorry. Joe, whatever. But you knew we were talking to you, right? Well, fuck no, I didn't know. I'm not Bill. <laughs> yeah, but you're. We answered. Fair that. enough. You <laughs> 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 can't be pissed off. <laughs> but if but if someone's talking, if you're talking on the phone and someone goes. Hey, Johnny. I'll be like, <clears throat> maybe I can just hear him. Would you not time. listen and just sit there and go, wait for him to say Patrice? Or would you go, hello? <laughs> hello? Wait, that okay. might not. Uh, yeah. My name isn't Bill, but I'm here on the phone. Hey, Scooter. All right, Joe, go ahead. <laughs> just go anyway. with Champ. Hold on. Here's Joe. Pally. Yeah, what's it's, up? It's not a 360, Oh, It's a 180. You said he did a 360. It'd be the same thing back to where he was before. If I someone know. pulls a 360, <laughs> yeah, <I know> their <laughs> viewpoint is exactly oh, yeah. where it was. Thanks for paying yeah, attention, Joe. If I would have said that, there'd be fucking pictures everywhere around New York. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, there'd be a fucking a plane with a fucking smoke. Voss said 380. Jesus, Anthony, you really are. I know. Damn it, a 360. Am I? Souffle eating motherfucker. I just I, I can't gotten, believe this, man. He, and, and I have a chef because I, I ate like shit for many years. It was all takeout. It was all let garbage. Me, now she comes in, makes nice Let me tell you something stuff. else. What's the chef she comes to your house. The what's chef? The, what's the, what's, yeah, what's the chef It's for? like a couple hundred bucks for like a week, a week and a half. It's all good food. 200 a week, that's it? Yeah. They bring the food and she cooks it in the house. Do they she bring McDonald's? In, she go, goes out, gets what mm-hmm. we want, like from the uh, store right oh, down the road. you got to pay for the food. And yeah, and, the, and yeah. The, so it comes up to be about four hundred. No, nah, it's not even that much. But isn't there places that send you that kind of shit already made, like that's yeah. real healthy? Yeah, but this wheels on wheels. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I got hey, that Rich. for my mom. It I was a heard fucking you good deal, man. Despicable ass. I try to get it for myself at that price. <laughs> <laughs> she Listen. comes, she cooks healthy food, and it's there for the week. Your brother's gonna call you out now. That's pretty cool, brother Joe. Do? That's pretty cool. Hey guys. Hey. Hi, Joe. Hey, Ed, what's going on? Ed, I love you, man. You know, you know I do. Of course, You're my brother. My brother. Jesus Christ, you sound like a faggot. Yeah, I, <laughs> so. I, I, I've just incorporated a few conveniences and and he now wears things in my life. shirts too. I know. And that's how he's talking to his he brother. He never wore college uh, shirts. You know, bro. You know, I've incorporated a few conveniences. Is that your, was that your brother? That's, that's yeah, gonna that's trickle up to, nice. the, to the parents soon. You, They're gonna go, you pussy motherfucker. Yeah, my mother's gonna be like, <laughs> you faggot now. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you why don't you blame bon, Bonnie? Uh, oh God! It would have been funny if I didn't stutter. Oh, no, I, I fucking hey, stutter. It's Ross. I, you know what? I, I agree with you. Unless you're a fucking yeah, celebrity, semi-celebrity, you should thank you, you. Have people cook for you, park for you, do whatever the fuck. You don't have to do anything. That's because all. And that's I what don't. it's about. And you I come really in here don't. and entertain these fucking right, mutants. Ari, uh, Mad TV's got to be paying you a couple of bucks. Uh, a yeah, couple. Well, it, now. And growing up, hey, we're all right. did you come from wealth growing up? Hell no. Hell no. no. So no. now that you have a few bucks, don't you kind of splurge on yourself every so often? You know, I 
I pay for sex, man. That's how, <laughs> that's how I splurge, man. That's how you splurge it. I pay the for house is a mess. You don't have food coming in or anything, but at least you're fucking. Aries has money for has had money for a long time. Because really? He doesn't have uh, he, no yeah. nigga rich on. <laughs> well, that's what I heard about this you, is, Patrice. This yeah. is, I, you I have had no money, and I still I'm on the. I still don't have any, and I do how nigga much, shit with my money. How but much you know what? My, 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 my nigga Rich is in my pocket, bro. I got. Oh, you kept that's oh, what I'm just saying. Just it. It. I'm He's hiding that shit. I, 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 my fault, my baby. Shit was in my pocket. Mad <laughs> TV, bitch. <laughs> oh, he's showing us Mad yeah. TV money right now. Wow. No, that's we're gonna have a really good interview with Aries, and then we're gonna talk bad about him as soon as he leaves. Oh shit. Sure. Yeah, have him come back. Yeah. No, I, I, I met Master. Was it Master Poe? Master yeah. Poe. Oh, I ain't coming back if I leave. That, 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 He's a trained killer. That really motherfucker is. shook my hand, man. You could just feel the chest muscles in it's his fingers. Looking in the eyes, you could just see his this, jaw looks like, strong. Craziness. Yeah, you don't yeah. hit him in the jaw. And then he's got newspaper clippings of how they sent him down to Quantico to train people to kill. It's it's like the the military, the the, the Pentagon and shit is sending him. Like we got Marines, we got yeah. all these guys. We need somebody who really knows how to kill them, really teach them how to do it with, like, a stick. Oh, man. He's the guy. Hey, we should get into what happened to Aries Spe uh, Spears, because we defended you, bro. Thank you, bro. We got audio of the whole thing, and we thought those guys oh, down man. in where oh, was these it, guys Miami? Yeah, you know, a bunch of pussies. <laughs> oh, what you was their names? I might have did their show. Yeah, what is it? I know I Ron did and, uh, uh, Ron and Paul. Paul, I think. Uh, I, I did those guys. Is yeah. one that had big guy? Well, yeah. He's that doing was the one that was right on the mic. Shit. Yeah. He's yeah. a big guy, right? Look, I don't yeah. know much about yeah. him. That jock, you never yeah, see that. I know. Yeah. I don't know much about him, but as far as the situation goes, they looked really bad. You know what's opinion. crazy, man? It's like they, and you know how the radio is, man. You can kind of be at the helm and edit shit and control mm -hmm. shit. So they would always push the button where, like, they would have, because I said this thing where I said, look, man, I'm from New York. So they just kept pushing the button, and people were, like, kind of making fun of, what does that mean? I'm from New York. And my whole thing with that was I was just trying to let him know I'm not from Florida, man. I'm not from one of these little pussy towns that, that where mm. you're just going to talk crazy about me and I ain't going to come do nothing. So when I made that statement, I was saying that to say, look, man, this is where I'm from. I'm proud of that. This is part of, you know, my character. And we don't, you know, we don't get down like that. But you know are you from this just, skill? From which? <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. So, That's you know, it just, it just was an interview went bad, man. And Well, uh, yeah, they didn't... Uh, they weren't happy with you because you weren't doing voices and performing. Yeah, I guess they, 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 they kind of wanted me to like snap to it. You know well, what I mean? Performing and, seal, but, yeah. Yeah, and I, you know, I don't mind doing that shit, man, because you know I gotta sell tickets. I like to, you know, entertain the people. But it's the way you present it. You well, know what in, I mean? yeah, right. You gotta, it's gotta be presented naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't just hey go. Yeah, and you're that, off. That's basically what he did. There are I mean, times when it's the host's fault that if right. one of you guys aren't performing. You know, there right. are guys out there that do radio like, hey, Patrice O'Neill, very funny guy. Yeah. And then they just stare at you like, all right, go, funny man. Yeah, yeah and, and that's that's yeah. basically what it was. And then I mean. there's other guys, you, you try to get a chemistry going and a, yeah. and a rap going, and then you work it in naturally. Yeah, yeah. But I, I've watched a lot of these radio guys, man. You know, they, they're they like, all right, Dane Cook or whoever's in studio, let's, uh, boom, go. Go, be funny for 10 yeah. minutes. And there's some guys that make you write out a list of shit to talk about. They, you got to go in there with a paper and to set them up for questions. You know what cool. I'm saying? You know, it's hey there, thing. Aries. So what's it like on Mad TV? What's it like? Yeah. yeah so why don't we listen to this tape? We have a lot of new listeners that haven't yeah. heard this yet, but Aries uh, got in some trouble down there, and then the local TV was on it. Oh, but yeah. But Ant and I were saying you must have had a sold-out show. You know, controversy it, sells. It, it wasn't bad, man. But you know, like I said, they they went beyond that, man. They started sending copies. Of, they were emailing the shit to Fox TV. They had listeners call up the TV, you know, Fox and Mad, and they were trying to get me fired and shit. And it was, for what? For what? They, there was they, they wanted to for really coming back and me, defending man. your fucking no, it was dignity in front of no, it was ah. a lot of radio guys. They they see their moment like this is it. We're going to get some national coverage. Hey, some right, national right, press right, out of this right. one. This is it. He's a dude from Mad TV, and uh, we almost got in a fight. we got to send it off to everybody. Yeah. yeah. They, they had dreams of being on, oh, like, yeah. Access Hollywood oh, and yeah. The Insider. Yeah. Their toughness level went up so quickly when you were <laughs> escorted out or yeah, that's, that's, when you left. That's where right. I have no respect for what they did. You know, right, they were right, talking right. shit. and uh, Well, after you left, they talked the shit. Yeah, and then when I it looked like it. you might... Punch somebody, they backed way off. Right. Then, then when they realized security was involved and they were protected, then they went after right, you again. Right, right, and right, security, right. security, yeah. yeah. Here, here's the tape. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Station. Well, you, you said it got six hold listeners. On. Yeah, I guess you got to explain. So you did your interview. It didn't go well. You'll be no, honest, right? It's, no, it's no, kind of no. sucked. It was one yeah. of those that just didn't go anywhere. So then you're leaving, right? Yeah. So and they talk shit as soon as you left the studio. As soon as I left, I got in the car and I, t you know, we listened to the station and they just start ripping into me. And uh, I probably got about two blocks, and I told the driver, I said, man, turn, turn around. this shit around. Turn around <laughs> That's you awesome. I mean? And what, what were they saying? Well, they were just like, for instance, like every time I go on a radio station, I bring a, a, a copy of my prank phone calls on my CD. I'll say, yo, man, can you play this? Let the people hear it and stuff. So dude didn't even play the phone calls, but yet he said, oh, my God, the album was just garbage. Then I had my brother with me. It was just me and him. He said I had a 15-man posse. You know, when the interview went bad and I left, I said to the receptionist, nice, you know, calm tone, listen, if in the future, if you want guys to participate, you should just have them be a little bit better host. They turned around mm -hmm. and said that I threatened her and I screamed. You know what I mean? So they just took things and blew it way out of proportion. Yeah. You know, it, it, like I said, a 15-man posse. It was me and my brother. So they're going back into their music. And listen to the uh, hack DJ voice delivery. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Station. Well, you, you said they got six hold listeners. On, hold on, we're on the air now. <laughs> yeah, let's be on. Are right, you now. back? You're back. Okay. Oh, this is good. Uh, they have to play the fake applause because he's <laughs> yeah, back in applause, studio. Man. Are you kidding me? This is a real I moment. Is. We're black. We're black on the air. <laughs> even if you're oh, doing like back, more, yeah. even yeah. If, even if you're doing like morning zoo type of radio, and I, and see, you should just, step out of that when a real moment is yeah. about to happen. Yeah, but like you're like, all right, he's back. Where's the applause? Where's the applause? But like I said before, you even get into that. The fucked up thing was. Like I said, people, you could log on and check it out on the, on the website, and they were only playing when I was the angry black man. They didn't play when they that's thrashed what, me. That's what the news yeah. did, too. You man. know what I mean? <laughs> they just played the one side, so it made me look like I was just fucking crazy yeah. and angry and racist. And, you know, it was like, come on, man, play the first half when you thrashed me for 10 minutes. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Station. Well, you, you said when they got six hold listeners. On, hold on, we're on the air now. Yeah, let's be on. Are you air. back? You're back. Okay. Oh, this is good. Yeah. 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 Now, now you you know radio and TV is all about ratings. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get some ratings for you oh, now. Because you, you, you can leave if you, you want. Or you you can verbally stay. thrashed me when I left. No, you ve th verbally thrashed us in the hallway on the way out. I didn't saying, thrash you in the hallway. Yeah, all you I did. The guy came in and told us what you said. I've been doing stand up for 15 years. I've been doing thousands of radio stations. All right. So what happened here? I know the deal. You didn't do diddle on our show. Okay, you came in the I didn't like... Oh, diddly. 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 You gonna call yourself a black man, Aries? Let a cracker say diddly to you. I don't believe it. And you know what? And, wow, he, and he let you off work. the hook because he didn't say squat. Oh. And uh, oh, I got to tell you, on Mad TV, you do a great Bo Diddley, so oh, I don't understand why they, you didn't do Diddley. Why did you do Diddley? You didn't do Shaq, you didn't do Diddley. Oh, man. <laughs> Shaq or Diddley. <laughs> That's what he meant. What an man. ass. Back to the tape. You didn't do Diddley on our show. Oh, you just came in I didn't like the way you presented it. What are you talking about? Having but, a but, conversation? Here's my point to you, and this is why right. I turned the car around and came back. I'm glad you, you came back. You were thrashing me, and all the listeners yeah, heard it. Lab. You would thrash me to my get the freak out of your studio and go back over there to the hippity hop you rap station out, where I they have six listeners. Can I talk? I'm not done. I'm, I think well, I you deserve the right to talk. You Wait, thrashed I'm, me when I left. And I'll respond. Just say that everything you said on the radio just, to my just, face. Just let him respond. Hold on. Say I'll to respond. My face. I love that. That's the key right there. <laughs> <Bravo>. <laughs> say everything Bravo. you said you're to gonna, my face. You're going to be tough when I wasn't in studio. Man. I'm back. Say it to my face. <laughs> now, if the guy had any set of balls whatsoever, he would have repeated everything that he had said right to your face. Man. Just just say to everything you said on the radio to my just, face. Just let him respond. Hold on, say I'll it to I'm going to say it to your face, and I'm going to respond to why I said that about the hip-hop. You walked out in the hallway and told this kid that, man, I went to the hip-hop station, and we got along fine. I did all my material. That pissed me off, because you didn't do any material on this show. Because the way that it was presented How to me How was it here, presented to you? Let me tell you something. When you do shows, and you're a comedian, and you do impressions, no one likes for you to just go, hey, do this, do that. No one did that. It can be presented in a better way. That is so yeah, true. Man. That's what I told the dude that was telling me the story at the mm -hmm. club I was doing. I was like, look, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I know they told it. Hey, we don't want to hear about who you really are. Dudes, yeah. do that impression <laughs> of uh, Clarence Williams III. Go ahead. Do it. Now. Yeah. <laughs> do it. <laughs> and Every time guys... you want to say nigga, they, 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 they substitute nigga with a, with a Richard... With a little Richard impression. Do it! <laughs> that's, that's where nigga come in. I said, do your impression! 
I completely agree with you, by the way. I think it's our job, Ant and, Ant and I, to like try yeah. to set you guys up best we can, try to feel you out, yeah, and, and make you comfortable. There you go. And that's, it just goes all, to that's show you. That's all I wanted, man. That's all I wanted. What want radio it, you know? hacks, when they have to have a guy come in, and it can't just be a conversation. You can't just yeah. talk about, you know, fucking what's happening in the news, the hurricane, just, and just... Like conversation. Plus, it's what, gotta you be. Know what, plus, what they don't understand too, man, is like, man, in this business, you know, hey, Patrice, you know, man, you gotta eat so much bullshit on auditions and rejection, and a lot of times, you know, you can't always respond the way you want to to a casting agent, producer, director, because mm -hmm. that could be your ass. So you gotta eat a lot of shit. So and when you have a term, diplomatic. And he ain't even mentioning as a black man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that too. Because that's what he wanted to say. Because that's what it is. We got to eat a whole bunch of horse oh, shit. Because no. we're bullshit. not smiley. And they want you to, nobody, if you not have any, just a drop of understanding for black people, don't tell it. Just let us have the, do, do it. Do yeah, your yeah. little impression. But the thing that kills it is like, you know, so if you get a moment where you can kind of keep a little control and dignity for yourself, yeah. that's important. Right. So, again, I, I, I would have done it. But he said, do it, do it. I'm like, and, dude, I go through this shit on, to and, get jobs. I'm not going to yeah. do this. And this the reality station. is it's it's a yeah. give and take. Like, Man. you want to be good on a radio yeah, show no because doubt. that sells the yeah. tickets. That's the only reason you're there. Yeah. You know, that's the only reason you're here today. Yeah. We don't know each other, right? Yeah, yeah. But that, so why wouldn't you uh, try to do your best? But yeah. if you're feeling uncomfortable and you're not feeling it because the atmosphere is strange, that's what's going to happen. And that's the jock's fault. Yeah, it's the fucking Jack's fault, man. You know, and we're not perfect. We've we uh, you know well, we've had a couple of uncomfortable we've, moments. Yeah, we've let people right. down on our show. Of course, we right. have. Sometimes we're not feeling the passion for the person. Right, right, Usually, right, right, it's right. intelligent uh, women. Yeah, that's the problem. We <laughs> yeah, have. they sit down. We finally had to admit like, that in the office one day. Like, and it's oh my not God. even like we're gonna go. So, bitch, what the fuck? You know, it's <laughs> it's just they sit down and go. Well, how are you guys doing? And we just go. Dad, we go. <laughs> we turn into babbling. Oh no, idiots. a woman with a brain. Yeah, we don't know what to say. No, show ho, fucking. It's not a phone yeah. ho. It'll bring it all down. Yeah. We're just so used to saying, "Show us your tits." Can I guess yeah. your age? By can I can show a wiffle ball bat in your wiffle ball bat? But no one does it. Yeah, show professor. Show us your tits. Yeah, hey. But a girl that has any type of intelligence in this studio, we fall apart. That's the hardest time we have. That's our. That's our kryptonite. It really yep. is, and we finally had to admit that in the uh, back office one day. We're like, man, we stink when these girls are smart. But you also go on these radio shows when <laughs> nice we go on the road. Kind of Lisa. When we go on the road, like, see, when a comic comes in here, they sit down. You go on the road, sometimes you're going in for one five-minute spot. Right. They'll yeah. bring you in. So you got to fucking song and dance with them for five minutes, mm -hmm. right? Like you're, you know, yeah. they rush in and rush you to fuck <clears throat> out. You can't build up any rapport or any no. type of thing. Yeah. So, you know, it's bullshit. Here, at least you come in, you sit for an hour or two hours. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You and it's, it's worked both ways uh, with comics on our yeah. show also. There have been some comics that have come in, and we're talking about a subject, and we got people uh, in here, and we're all laughing. And they come in and are incapable <laughs> of adapting to the conversation <laughs> thing and just start going into the act. Is that my uh -huh. setup? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. Hurricane what? I yeah. know. We're talking about but when you know were what? in high even, school. But even if you got five minutes, you know, you can make the most out of five minutes. Again, mm -hmm. I just yeah. say it's my job to come in and, and do my thing. But as host, this is your your station, your gig. Right. As you can in five minutes we can get something going. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. It, don't, it ain't about it ain't got to be an hour. Right. It could be five minutes. Oh yeah. It's just all about how you you know what I mean in yeah. that five minutes build that rapport, man. Well, obviously, you know? that wasn't going on. <laughs> so, All right, let's go back to the tape here. It yeah. can be presented in a better way. It's your Red job Fox. as the host. You are the host. Yeah, we it started. is your job How? as the host hey, to hey, present hey, it in hey, such hey, a way where we can do it on. well. Hang on, hang on. Just let me say something real quick. We've had every, every... Every major comedian that has come through the Miami Improv. And this is a lot. I want you to understand why I turned no, around. Hold on. Let's let me say, to speak just, for a second. Let me talk right? just for a second. As far as people doing impressions, we've had Kevin Pollack. We've had Daryl Hammond. We've had other comedians that do impressions, and we say, hey, man, do this impression. Let me tell you and they do it. It's no big I, deal. I wasn't here when they, when all those people you just named, I wasn't here when they were here. So I don't know what they did, and therefore I don't care. Right. My point in turning around and coming back here was that you were talking very tough no when I left here. Tough. Yo, my man, I'm from the streets of New York. I know what tough talk sounds like. Yeah. And if you're going to talk about me that way, do it to my face. I'll do it to your, your comedy. Say everything you that you said to my face. What did I say that was so tough? Talk the way you was talking a second ago. Yeah. I said, man, go down to the hip-hop station where they got eight listeners. Why don't you go down there? 
So it's necessary to yell, say though. my CD is trash and all that. Because well, if hey, I, I never heard it, I, I, I said that. Okay, so if I had done, so I if I had done everything that y'all wanted me to do, if I had done everything that y'all wanted me to do, the way you wanted me to do it, you would have still said my CD was trash? I didn't say it was trash. I said it wasn't funny. What did he say? I said it wasn't funny. What did he say, I know what I said. You don't have to hear it in my mouth. We heard you. Don't you let me tell you uh something, poodly poo. You don't come in here with your New York swiddly do and, and kiddly crash and come in here and think you can scare me with your goddamn movements of your hands and neck with that hip of gosh. You could tell he was scared. Yeah. He was Shitless. the way he was talking, it's like, you know, t- say what you said and say it to my face. And he's like, Well, I the hip hop station's got six <laughs> listeners. What was he saying though? Like say it exactly how he was, he was, like the, to, to, that made you want to br- come back. Well, when he when he was like, uh, you know, I said, yeah, man, I did the thing at the hip hop station, had a good time. And he goes, go back to your uh, hippity dippity rippity rappity station where they got you know six listeners and do your thing. And when he was saying that, he was going, your hippity dippity. You know, he was doing but all that shit. What did he say in the car that made you yeah. go, nigga, turn this motherfucker? Oh, he said, he said. He said uh, uh, who does he think he is to come into my station in my city and not do what I ask him to do? Oh. That's what it was. Right. There you go. Oh. All right. See, right. this is what we have to explain to white okay. people. This is good. They <laughs> missed out on Master that. Because <laughs> the white people, that, oh, okay. I, have a, I have a PhD in white people. They did not understand that you don't do that as a white guy. You don't go into slave master mode. Yeah. Oh. You do what I told you to do. And that's what made it come back. Oh. Oh. Aries was bullshit. He tried to make it sound like he said, nigga, I'll shoot you in your motherfucking eye. He just said, let me tell you something, that boy. That shit went right to his DNA, man. <laughs> right to his DNA. We, we had put the sand down on the floor for a little soft shoe, and he didn't deliver. <laughs> he didn't deliver. God damn it, we had makeup and everything. Oh, my God. wanted him to God. say mammy, and you say mammy when I say say mammy. My studio. This is my plantation. <laughs> uh, my studio. And I say. Holy shit. All right, all right. <laughs> That's Aaron it. Aaron trying to make it sound like he said, well, I'll smack you up beside your motherfucking yeah. head, boy. But yeah. he was just like, he just should come in and do what he's told. That's when that car made that <laughs> Yui. Oh, All right, listen. Let's, let's get, that car turned around like when they were taking Michael to the restaurant. <laughs> Help the Good bridge. driving, Lou. Good driving, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> well, not Lou the Bronx, we, the other we going to Brooklyn? Oh. Or we, yeah, we, we going to Jersey? Yeah, yeah, we'll see where we go. That's great. <laughs> Makes that turn. Right, let's get back to the tape here. <laughs> I said, you don't have to in my mouth. We heard you. That's fine. I don't care. I'm standing right there. Okay, let me give, I'm gonna give you a real quick lesson because I'm going to be as professional as I can be under the circumstances. I'm going to go ahead now that we done got all this out the way and leave your building or, as you said, your freaking station. But I'm going to tell you right now, be very careful what you say about people and how you say it because I'm going to let you know something else about black people. Right. When you talk like that to us and about us, you get your ass whipped. So if you got something tough to say, say it now. And so, I guarantee you. I'll whip your ass Some in this studio. Let, let me- God, you called yeah. them. I love that you called them out right there. Oh. Absolutely mm. love it. Although you also get your ass whipped if you say, could you please get out of my home? <laughs> don't, don't tie me up with the phone cord here in Nassau County. <laughs> All I have is a rapier for defense, sir. Could you please leave me alone? What the fuck you say? I'm sorry, Hold okay. Up. Wait, did you say you... Why don't you go to some guy's hippity-hoppity house what, nigga? and rob me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you say you going to chop me up with your I'm a sword if I get the fuck out your house. <laughs> Oh, I know this nigga. <laughs> he didn't just tell me to get the fuck oh, out of his man. house. All right, come on. We're running out I'll of I'll say what I was going to say. Ah, oh, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh. We're running out of Shaw, so I'm trying to move it along. Oh, here. shit. Back to the tape. Say it now, and some, I guarantee you I'll whip your ass some of my in this studio. Let, let me tell oh, you, you something. We're going to whip your ass in this studio. Get security right now. There it is. See, that is just like. Get security. I'll show you. That's embarrassing, and they're listening. Oh, should man. have been embarrassed. There's, a, there's the their tough shock jock, and he's yelling, "Get security!" I'll right. show him. I'll show him. Get security! <laughs> we called security in here on one occasion, really, and it was and when we Bernie honestly, Getz, Subway gunman Bernie we, Getz, honestly, was sitting that. right there, losing his fucking mind. And uh, he walked to get something out of his, his duffel bag. bag. <laughs> security! Now that's when you call fucking security. And we weren't Paul. It was Paul. 
Yeah, no yeah. joke. We weren't yeah. sure if, because this was early in uh, the XM days, we weren't sure if Poe actually checked them for shit. We weren't sure, you know. There was part of our, <laughs> dude. It was a uh, no joke. It we was were a fucking scene. with him a little bit. We, we were fucking with and Bernie. He just lost his mind. Oh no, we purposely fucked with Bernie Getz. It was fun, but until he ran out of the studio and went for the, his bag, we're like, "What is he getting out of the bag?" <laughs> have to worry and then he comes running. There. Then he comes running back in. We're like, "Holy shit! What did he get? What yeah. happened?" Uh, to this day, we don't yeah, know. Yeah, we don't know what he was I think going something, for. Well, I think something uh, switch went off in his head, like I'm going to get my gun, and then realized, wait, I can't carry a gun around anymore. <sighs> he, uh, oh, I think yeah, the he, switch went off in his head, like I'm getting the gun. He's really got OCD bad, and he set up like CDs and things all in oh, order. And Opie took one and uh, switched it with some piece of garbage one, but made like he broke it. Yeah. Opie <sighs> just went wham, and he goes, you Motherfucker! Yeah. Oh. And like ran out. <laughs> Motherfucker! I'm never coming back to this fucking yeah. show again. And he ran out to get something. We're like, here it comes. Oh, Boom! Yeah. You don't look so bad. Right. And he went, you know, remember that line? Me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Opie, like, don't you ever do that again? <laughs> right. Boom! You got a sharpened <laughs> screwdriver. I'll another nigga sitting here. If you break my shit again, Opie. <laughs> you got a sharpened <laughs> screwdriver. I saw it. Oh, you know, looking yeah, at this yeah, room yeah. right now, I would have had two chances to get away. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> Oh, man. Fucking Bernie, man. You don't fuck with that guy. Said, I'll break another one. You ready, Harry? You ready to die? <laughs> oh, well, my God. I guess Anita gotten off again. <laughs> well, they were threatening. It's... I guess we should tell Aries we like to break things on this show. It's it's fun. Hey, man. I wish I was here for like that. Like, has, uh, Larry, Boss has an yeah. uh, invite from, from President no, Bush. No, not an invite. It's a... What is it? Let me see it again. You're not going to see it. It's your wedding Let invitation. Let me see it from here. He sent an invitation to the president. Oh, no give me the point. fucking thing. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't break what? I'm telling Wait, you. What happened? What happened? Took it, took it out of his bag. Out of my bag. Oh, jeez. Did someone ride through your place? Don't, don't break it. Is that I'm it? telling you. Oh, man, that's funny. Why is it already a little askew? Let me see that. Give me, <laughs> give me the fucking thing. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, you no, that, didn't, you motherfucker! Up. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, shit. Holy <laughs> shit! I wasn't even looking up, man. Holy oh, shit! I didn't realize oh. this. That's a real glass. You fucking idiot. idiot! You broke him. You know how you think Aries pissed off at the last guy? Like, you just cut his face, you dummy! It was like conflict. Oh, I'm, good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, you're not cut. No, no, I just, just you're not gonna turn around back in your car. No, was, no, no right. not with him here. Was that actually the fucking? No, I, I, it was glass. But I, I, oh, I, you I, son, son of a was bitch! Really I switched it. Yeah, he broke the really frame. I, yeah, but I didn't realize it was glass. Holy shit! Oh, you fucking look at you now. Like you're a mess. Shit out of me. It's flying glass. All over me in the chin. Huh? I know. I felt one on the cheek. Holy Did I get you, Harry? Oh, that was nice and nice. No, yeah, but I'm good, man. Lunatic. I'm good. I'm good. I'm fucking $500 frame. Oh, I really... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got I got a few cuts. You in got my some shrapnel. Oh man, man! I thought he really did it. That was. <coughs> I did break it. What are you? That, that was, was glass. Really that was really. No, here, 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 <coughs> here, here it is. Oh, break that, that one. <laughs> oh, that's the real one. Wow. Wait, you still didn't know that I broke a fake one? I, how stupid can you be? You were staring at it. How stupid so, can so you be? You're fucking inches on. They put it in real glass. <laughs> We did the yeah, switch. Was, He's looking at the. He, he grabbed the. Uh, yeah, oh, no, I was just because I was in shock. Oh, all right. No, we did the oh, switcheroo. Oh, that was actually that was a good. genius. Uh, wow, that, that was really a was a good pull-off. boy. He gave us that one. A little bait Holy and switch. That was but a good thing. But he still thought I really did it. Yeah, I know. What an idiot! Oh, you were at looking at it. <laughs> do we have I a um, do we have a dust buster here? Yeah, we're gonna need to clean up for Ron. That board needs to be dust busted. Oh my god. Honestly, that's the, old, that's, that the imita- that's not the president from the president. That's the imitation. Oh. Harry's is like, what the? That fuck? was fucking. Yo, that shit was crazy, man. Wow, that's scared. Oh. That's scared you so bad. I'm sorry, Harry. Rich. So what I want to really know is Kevin Pollock does impressions. <laughs> we play for real on this show. <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, uh, getting back to the tape. Now I got to do the rest Darryl of the show. Hammond and I, Daryl Hammond and I have the same manager, and I know for a fact that uh, Daryl doesn't do that. Right. No. Like this, no. he refuses to do. In the right context, yeah. it's fine and it's fun right. and it's part oh. of the show. But but when you're you know like a seal with a fish being held right. up in front of it, yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. want to do that, man. Yeah, yeah. And we're running out of show. So I want to give Aries uh, Spears some more time here. We got uh, just like a minute left in this tape mm-hmm. from what happened down there in Miami. 
Tell you something. We're not threatening anybody here. Whip your ass in the studio. You're not going to whip anybody. Get security right now. It's not a racist issue. Let's not get violent here. One of my best buddies. It's not a question of getting violent. You trashed me verbally on the radio. You came in here. You had an opportunity to sell tickets for your show, and you did squat. You know it's amazing how you hide behind your mic and you talk real talk. Nobody's hiding here. No one threatened you. Not one person threatened Aaron, you, dude. Aaron. See me on the streets and talk to me that way. Aaron. I'll walk out in the street right now and talk to you. Get your yes, fat sure. ass what, man? Then get up and do it. Sure he will. God, he's, it's I'll embarrassing to listen to this guy. I'll go right now. Then go. I'll right. twist you into a pretzel, buddy. <laughs> How was the show? He's get your fat ass what? Well, I'm Aaron, so. I don't Aaron. give a crap. I'm not here to fight. Hey, do the clumps before you go, buddy. Oh, oh what shit. Yeah. At that no, point, he, they he knew. Said it, he said it on my way out as I was walking. That's what I mean. Out. Yeah, it was. Well, one he last knew that yes. he was well protected. So All right, he's gonna get that yeah. last shot. Right, look, yeah. I might come off as a bad guy, but that was kind of funny. <laughs> what did he say? Oh, no. Did he say? no, no, listen. That was kind of funny. Everybody, people laughed at it, man. What did he say? It was a clump before you leave. That was so smart. That was so. Because right when I walked right? past him, he kind of gave me that over the shoulder. He threw the clumps. Yeah. Just as I was walking. out. We're running out. We're running out. Clumps before you go, buddy. Yeah, you egging me on. You'd love me to punch Do me something. Face. Hit somebody. Just do the clump. Sue your you ass me. quick. Yeah, you oh, no, hey, you white guy. Let Clark. me bring a Jew God. into this. Come in here, trash. Get out of here. He's bad, man. Hard to defeat him. That's that guy that has access Hollywood tonight. See? He's not that big. Oh, he's already creaming. Access Hollywood. Get him out of the building. Get him out of the building now that you're gone. You get him out. Get Tough him guy. out of here. He's going to whip some fat ass. Yeah, he's gonna whip Did you have our back, Lamont, or did you the run? The oh, funny thing is, one of my best friends is black. Oh, 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 oh I hate that one. one. I had a I colored friend in high school. school. For six, seven years, and she's like my best friend. Oh, yeah, Jeez. sure. I love oh. that. And I grew up listening to hip-hop. You can't have a best black friend if you have that accent. That's my best friend, god damn it. That's Dan Natterman. Yeah. Wow. All right, well, that is beautiful, brutal. Right? Kind of ran out of time. That is brutal. brutal. I All could right. see him out on the street trying to pull the uh, Ralph Cramden thing where you get a, <laughs> some other guy to, for him to hit. Hey, right. get a load of fatso there. <laughs> and then he hits him to scare you into thinking he's a tough guy. Oh, man. That was beautiful. All right. Uh, we got like 15 oh, seconds. Brutal. Aries, where are yeah. you going to be? Uh, tonight, Irving, Irving Plaza. Irving Plaza with Bill yeah. Burr. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, 8 o'clock tonight. Well, Irving if you're going to be in New York, come back tomorrow so we can do more time. I mean, Absolutely. Well, whatever. You know, it's up to you. We actually take off tonight. Okay. We head out to Portland. Time you're in New York. Absolutely. Yeah, we man. heard thank the ridiculous you. itinerary. Rich Voss, thank asked. you. We're running out yeah, of show. Yeah. Oh. Program complete. I got, I got Rich Voss on the radio. Down Logan? Here. Those two, uh, two guys that are uh, that dissed uh, er Eric Spears. Oh, okay. Let's hear oh, Rich Voss for a second. Rich Voss doing another radio yeah, show today. Wait, you talking about in the, in the Atlantis? I'm going to tell you a story. I, I, took, I worked the Atlantis last year, and I took my daughters. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a beautiful place. And this is, they didn't have coffee in the room, though. They don't have coffee. And I have to have, get up and have coffee. Yeah, I got you. I have to have, you know, and I don't want to deal with waiting for uh, housekeeping and all that. I just want to make and have it. Right. So uh, at the club, they had instant coffee. You can tell this on our So I brought it back yeah. to my room. I brought some powdered milk and some sweet and low. And I, I had my steamer with me where I steam clothes. <laughs> it boils water in it. You are quite a so problem. I would boil the water in the steamer. And make in I felt like I was in prison. Like my my daughter would go my daughter would go to grab the coffee and I would shank her with a toothbrush that I would that I file down. Get off the coffee, you're on your own. Uh, I think he's smart enough to uh, shut off the cell phone. Oh yeah, we took six hundred listeners. Are we calling him right now? Yeah, call him. And, and we got a tour of the bridge suite. And I've been working this guy, uh, John Kirk, and working. Come on. This guy's kissing his ass, bro. Wait, put, it back, put it back, put it back. Yeah, we're in the middle of yeah, listening. That are, you know, high roller casino players. Yes. That are like, can man, I go to Atlanta. I can't get in the bridge. Call I'm going to get there. Like, they're, they're throwing names like Michael Jordan at me. I'll get Jordan. Jordan calls, he wins everything he has. Is, is that like 25 grand a night or something? 25 grand a night. Yeah. Wow. Now, who's, who's on this? That's your cell phone there. Who's the most famous person on the cell <laughs> Right now. Uh, who's the most famous on my cell phone? Chris Rock. How do you know Chris? Interactive radio, radio, man. Radio. I remember that. I wrote for the Oscars. Hey, it's 813. Go ahead. Take your call. No. It's another radio station. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's me. Oh, locally, Take yes. it. Around the country. They're national. Good friends of mine. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, syndicate. O&A, so they'll probably call them to start trouble. Aerie <laughs> 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 Spears is fiasco. So why would they hate you, man? Because they, like they, when we had the fight with Aerie Spears, yeah. 
Then he went on their show and they started sucking up to his ass. No, they didn't. I was sitting there that day. We heard tell I got people calling us saying that they 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 lost voices because uh, we called security on the guy and all this other stuff. I don't want to fight the guy. We did. Well, I wouldn't want to fight him either, but he can't fight the guy. I don't think they were sucking up to him. I, yeah. did they, did they, I was in the studio the day when uh, he, Opie broke the glass. Oh, I don't know. Unless he was there. Unless he, oh, unless Aries Aries was trash. Did you hear the fight The fight we had with Aries? Aries Spears it, definitely yeah. came off as the, the fight, guy yeah. that was right in show, this. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Because he said, come back here, boy. They, they didn't hear what happened. It was awful. You come in here. How relaxed are we? Yeah, it's very relaxed. Tell I, the I, guy, I, tell O'Neill to get off her back. We're nice guys. These are fellow broadcasters. Um, and yeah, stick up for us, man. I think they would, especially uh, the not like Gary Spears. Uh, you're not even in our, in our league, league, you Fellow assholes. broadcasters. You're not fellow broadcasters. Uh, I can, uh, and I don't hang out with fellow broadcasters. I hate fellow broadcasters. We hang out with Ron and Fez. Well, I'm not going to talk to Harry. I don't care about that. Fellow broadcasters. I mean, I'm not going to wrong against him because I don't want to get beat up. I got a bad back. I got a horrible back. No one needs to get their ass beat. I just uh, got in a car accident the other day. All right. Oh, someone smashed my car. All right, we'll let him be. That's that's funny <laughs> shit. No, it's another radio <laughs> show. <laughs> you probably saw Patrice come up. Knows you're here. God, is that funny oh, shit, man? Oh, the fear. That no, little no, fucking no, twerp. No. <laughs> nah, I don't know. It's another radio Eric, show. Eric, thank you. That was cool. All right, man. All right. You on another show while we're on our... Well, you guys told me to do it. Hey, Rich. Yeah. I'm explaining. What's Hello? up, Rich? Who's this? It's Opie, You're doing man. a show? What's going on? What's going we're on with you? We're just listening to you. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Yeah. I've been pretty funny, haven't I? Uh, not really. Um, <laughs> we've heard all these. I thought it was no, I'll tell you why not really, because we've heard all these stories, Rich. Yeah, but here's the thing. All comics, when they travel around the country, do you think they tell a different story in every radio station? You dummies. Of course they're the same stories, but they're new stories in Florida, okay? And they're they might just be... as awful for the Florida audience. You know they're what he just, just did? Awful. It's like he's, so stu- he's like a magician, right, <laughs> who just Why showed that? everybody to saw the lady in half trick. <laughs> right. right. It's like <laughs> we all don't want to come off like a same story hack, well, you first, fucking first, asshole. <laughs> yeah, you don't first tell first. everyone that you said you tell the same story. Stories in every city. What a city. dick! You just do well, it and make believe you're him? brilliant, and the story's coming from the top of your head. What a of all, novice! First of all, why shouldn't I tell him? You just told him. Oh, you've shanked your daughter like 80 times already. <laughs> you know? you know Enough. You know Girl what? Scout you know cookies, what? she's 46, boss. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm doing? Radio on? You know what radio I'm doing? Yeah, we know. They're, they're trying to say they're uh, uh, fellow broadcasters. They're not our yeah. fellow broadcasters. First of all, first of all. They're a one-market sensation, and they, they came across like pussies uh, with Ari Spears. What exactly. happened there? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what happened there? I believe, exactly. There's, there's our fellow broadcasters. Was that a on little, mic, you oh think? Oh, my yeah, it was. God. A little taste of reality. Those fuckers can't handle this shit. Uh, that, somebody took a gulp and then said, let's make a decision here. Uh, we won't click. do it. Anyone that calls uh, themselves fellow broadcasters is somebody we don't want to deal with on any level. Broadcaster. They should have stuck up for us. Uh, we're, we're their fellow broadcasters. Do you think they put that on, like, wait, 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 you have to put your job? We just description put, somewhere and it says bro- broadcaster. We, I've never called myself a broadcaster. We, no, never. You're right. I don't even know what to write there. A when, lot of times, I just write. When, I'm when an it, asshole for four hours. When they ask for like uh, job description yeah. on all those dumb forms you, we uh, have to fill out here and there, I, I always what write, do you write? Like radio personality. I never I write even right there. I never that. write broadcaster. You know what I write? I write on air. I just put on air. One time I did write professional Figure it asshole. Out. Yeah, professional <laughs> asshole. I'm a dick one. for four hours. There you go. There's some guys that can't really handle the, the reality of a situation. We just put uh, Rich Voss in a horrendous situation, oh, I think. Which is just so much fun. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he hung up that fucking phone. Oh, click. Well, if you've been listening to our show for the last year, you know what that was about. That's uh, another little little soap opera storyline that uh, yeah that continues. You know, you can't be uh, all all tough, and then when uh, the going gets rough in your studio, you call security. Unless you think the guy's running out of the studio to get a gun. Hey, if it's Bernie Getz, who had shot four people in the past, and you piss him off, and he runs out to his uh, carry-on little bag that he brought with him. <laughs> right. 
then I could see uh, security coming in. Of course, because we had no idea what we, he was going for. And you know what? I think it was an instinct, and I think he, uh, in the it, back in the day, <coughs> used to carry a gun all the time. Yeah. And he went back to that place, and he ran back to get his gun. Where's and then gun? realized, shit, I can't oh, walk around the it. city with a gun anymore. These fuckers. All right. Well, that was fun. That came out of nowhere. We should listen into some radio stations today. It's been a while. We haven't had a really good guest on the show in a while. Well, there's got to be a local show having a, a pretty cool guest on. <laughs> I guess Voss is trying to get his paybacks on the air. Oh, really? Let's go to Eric in Miami. Eric. Hey, it's me again, bro. I just went, I just went to a commercial, but uh, Patrice, yeah. Voss, Voss just called you a fat black monkey on the radio, brother. Uh, he ain't got no choice. Hey, uh, were we on the radio with those guys? Yeah, right. They, they, they're they right when they, before they went to commercial, they're talking about you, bro. You kept on talking about it. They, they were scared to put you on, yeah, because they said, "Oh, they, you guys, they, you know, they, they say bad words on there." Yeah, oh, we, yeah. we can curse. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the reason they didn't put Voss. us on their uh, oh, show. Voss is the worst. I would so call them out personally, no problem. <laughs> but it sounded and, like the biggest pussies when we got that tape. And Fat Black Monkey, he called me that sixteen times last week. Yeah, Voss just can't be. He just, can't be original. I can't believe he told the story <laughs> of how. Yeah, we go all over the country and say the same thing. It's the same thing on every station. You're an asshole. It's like, well, Voss, you're doing this show, which is national. Yeah. So it's not like you know you could go to another market. It's a national show. But, but Anthony, uh, right, right when you guys were calling him, mm -hmm. he's, he's he's on the phone with you guys, and he's live on the radio. Uh, okay, but you didn't get to hear us, right? You just heard Rich Voss's uh, side uh, of the conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah just Voss. Just Voss. Uh, that's too bad. All right. All right, guys. Voss Thank you, Eric. pussied out and hung up on us. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Faggot. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. Here's Beach Boy. Rich Voss is back. He's not happy. Rich! Uh-oh. Oh, God. You know, every, you know what you guys are? Huh. You guys are like, I'm like Michael Douglas, and you're like the Eric Douglas. You just, everywhere I go, <laughs> I touch. Hey, we like uh, testing you, though, man. You were in a but bad you, spot, and you still stood up for your pals, Opie and Anthony. Did you notice that? And, I, and Patrice, saying how funny Patrice is. You call me a man. black ape, you oh, piece of dog. I, I never said that. I didn't say I said I called you an airbag. I didn't call you an airbag. <laughs> airbag. Dude, I, gonna, we were, I didn't know if I could. We were get away with it. We were giving those guys a taste of reality, and uh, they didn't hear what we were saying to you. And obviously, you panicked and just hung up on us. Well, because it was too up. But did I stick up? You notice I go still O and A are number one. Yeah. I still, no matter where I go, and now that I burnt another bridge, yeah. uh, first with Elliot, now with them. Hey, can I give you my road schedule and give you every radio station I'm on? Yeah, or that'd be cool. <laughs> nah, we like we like our pests just finding out that you're somewhere. Yeah, and they Rich, just call in on their own. It's they great. rat you out, man. We have our no pests rat you out. Honest to God, you did the show with us Monday. I forgot you were going to Miami. You're going to be at the Improv all weekend with your lovely uh, wife there, Bonnie McFarlane. And uh -huh. uh, I honestly, we forgot because we got to move on with our program. And then out of nowhere, this guy Eric calls and goes, "Hey, you want to hear Rich on the radio?" That's so. really funny. But you got to admit, and even Patrice knows this. You don't come up with a new. Did you hear me get free uh, golf today? You don't come up with a new oh. bit. Let me tell hold you on, something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sam in Miami. Sam, go ahead. Yeah, now these guys are listening to both at the same time while your friend was on their station. I'm in Miami, and now they're just trashing. Well, as much as they can trash you, you trash them much better yeah. with more finesse, as they say. But they are just going all over you. Like, why Why do these guys think, you know, that guy, He he's big. I'm like, give me a fucking break. You Wait, know were they, I mean? are, they tra are they trashing me now? Well, they're trashing every... Yeah, I think they are. You should go back... But I thought we were their fellow broadcasters. Yeah, Somehow, I think yeah. if you go back in, Voss, and, and say you're going to kick their ass, they will just yeah, beat you up. Like, you should go back in there like Aries did and just start, like, making a ruckus. What the fuck are you talking about? Why are you trashing me after I left? You know, and just they'll, they'll have a heart attack, man. They'll have a heart attack. Anthony and I have a really tough time acknowledging that we're actually in, in radio because yeah. of guys like that that call themselves fellow broadcasters. That's rough. We're your fellow broadcasters. If I go back in, they might knock the three good teeth I have left in my mouth. Yeah. And here's the thing. You know what? I would, that would be great if I walked back in. Because are they trashing me? Hey, not, they're not calling me like a dick or anything, are they? Uh, I, you know, as much as they can call anybody. Well, what are they saying know? about us there, uh, Sam? Uh, they're, they're saying that not. These guys, who are they? You know, they're no one big, you know. Oh, uh, no yeah. One big, okay. Right? Yeah, no one. Hey, did you hear me? Did you yeah. hear me? This is the best thing for you guys. You got national coverage. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're and they're proving our point because uh, the whole reason this started with those guys is we thought they you know backed down to Aries and sounded really wimpy on the radio. Yeah. They just did the same thing with us. We were on the phone. We could have went toe to toe with them. They chose not to put us on their show. And then when Rich leaves and we're gone and we're moving on with our show, now they're brave enough to now, say, now, now say gonna, some now shit. Now start talking that shit. And, you know, Proving my point to, to begin with that started you know, this whole thing. You know what else, though? I think we're like the country, the only country with the uh, atomic bomb. Right. Like if we get into an on-air argument with a res regular terrestrial radio station, we have the atomic bomb that we can drop at any moment That's to right. end the argument. That's right. Hey, you fucking right. cunt. Argument <laughs> over. That's right. We win. <laughs> we got nuclear weapons. We and, have nuclear weapons. And they have sticks. Conventional. Yeah, they got some the, sticks that might be a little pointy. You guys, you're they're, like, they're, like on a, they're like on a 15 minute delay. Hey, how come your friend immediately said, I was in a car accident. Soon the first words came out of his mouth. I was in a car accident. He wanted to change the subject. Right. Yeah. The first thing he and uh, Rich, the Rich, uh, you were just calling uh, Patrice out on the fact that, oh, you don't go around to radio stations and do the same material. Let me tell you something. Patrice O'Neill's been in here uh, a week straight this week, hasn't yeah. done any of his material, hasn't repeated anything. But, but, it's but here's it's here's called, here's it's here's called comfortably here's hanging here's out right. and right. conversing and, with people. Okay, first of all, you're right. And that's how you no, got I'm going to protect Rich show. Voss on this. Yeah. I'll tell you okay. why. Because we have a much different uh, environment than these uh, these dumb radio shows across America. I you know, when you come into this show, we try to make you, you know, feel comfortable. And, and we try to make you feel like the mics aren't even on. And it's just a bunch of guys hanging out. But these guys, we hear from it all the time. The, our comedian friends, when they go across America, they go into these environments where it's like, they want to do your show, Rich Voss, you're at the improv this weekend. And that's <laughs> the problem they We're had. We're just regular guys on the radio. Same problem they had with Aries. Hey, they listen, wanted him listen. to do his act on listen, their listen. show. It's easy to trash listen, Voss, but I'm on listen. his side today, man. I'm telling listen. you. Here's the thing. I go into radio stations, and some of them I have to write down questions for them to ask. Right. Okay, oh. I mean, some of these for five minutes, some for 15. Of course, when I come into your studio, I'm not doing bits. Maybe I do one bit I'll throw in. And, of course, you're just hanging out. Yeah. You guys aren't your typical radio. You're not radio. Yeah, you got to be brave enough to just turn the mics on and see what the fuck happens. Some days, I'm, you know, we fall on our faces. We know that. You don't even have to tell us. You know, when we fall on our faces. We know before you guys tell us. I just do a bad show. But these guys aren't guys. brave enough out there to just turn on yeah. the mics and I'm, see I'm what happens. I'm not going to do my act. I'm no. not going to I'm, no. I'm not gonna lead in. That's why I can't be on Leno and Hey, so Patrice, I heard you. I was like, yeah, sure. yeah, How yeah about, where'd you uh, hear that from earlier? <laughs> when we talked, you fucking... Right. Well, you, when you wrote it down yeah, so you could I'm, read I it don't. down. I, Let's go to Pat. You're gonna, Patrice, you're not going to do your act because once you do in the club, you're going to get fired. So why you, 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 <laughs> oh. are you going to do He got that is fired true, from four clubs. You get <laughs> fired a lot? I get thrown out a lot, yeah. They, yeah, they, they out. me out of here, man. That's why he's not sitting there blabbing about talking about being on the road. Because he goes on the road and he gets sent home early. Look okay? at the energy that Rich has, man. I know. He had himself in a little bit of a situation. Couldn't wait to get out of there and give us a call. <laughs> hey, hey uh, Pat from Miami. Hold on, Rich. Pat, go. Hey, Voss, that guy must have been a fan of their show. These guys were trashing you, making fun of the way you talk, calling you a wigger. Who is? No way. They're not calling what, these two radio guys. Yeah, dude, they were, like, saying Bonnie was riding you and you guys aren't really, like, for real, and that you jerk off with other guys in a bed. Yeah, see, yeah, well, let, me tell you, make you a bad person. let me tell you a secret about uh, commercial radio. They all have XM satellite radio. Almost yeah. every single one of these uh, guys that think they're doing something in radio. If it's you're the, in radio, you're the first people that know how much regular radio sucks. It's the truth. If you're in the business... You were the first people that really knew how much it sucks. That's right. And hey, then a, uh, you I get satellite. I got a question for uh, Patrice about I Love the 80s. All right. Oh, well. Go ahead, Pat. Hey, hey Patrice. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa, I don't know. Right. Nah, Patrice was... Uh... All right, Rich. Double set All right, setup. well, listen, you guys. I always stick up for you in the end, you motherfuckers. You don't have to tell us. We heard it for ourselves. I was going to give him the plug. Now, fuck him. Now, nothing. Nah, it's the improv in Miami all weekend long with Rich Voss. Uh, Doug out, Doug. No, I don't have anything to do. What station are these guys on? Now, you know what? We don't even need to bother with them. You guys got bigger things to do, don't you? I'm really bored. Just remember, guys, whatever you plan, 
You got to do it in a peaceful way, all right? That's right. Peaceful demonstrations only. All right. And uh, if anybody's hiring in the Virginia Beach area, it's dugoutdoug at gmail dot com. Thank all you. Right. All right, there he goes, Doug. One of the uh, one of the fine pests looking for a job that have some big missions ahead of them.